Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hello. Hello. Howdy doody. Good evening. How's everybody doing today? Hi, Sharon and Michelle and JD and Crafty Beginnings and Tammy and Esther and Joy. Hello, hello. And Monica, hello. Hello, hello. Hey, everybody. Oh, and Tammy. Did you say Tammy? Yeah, I have Miss Barbara with me today. Yep. Hi guys, how are y'all doing? Hello Esther, how are you? Hi Tina. Where's Janie today? We have no Clint. Janie. Hi Clint. Hi Clint. We have no Janie today. Let me get this out of my way. Esther, remind me, what kind of surgery did you have? The neck fusion? I think that's what she said. Hmm? I said I think that's what she said before. I forget who has what surgery. I think we're all falling apart. Uh -huh. I have a hard time keeping track with everybody's different ailments and surgeries. That's why I asked 7,000 times when somebody neck starts fusion. talking about it. Oh, well, on your neck fusion, how many levels Ouch. did you have? Because I had three levels done on my neck. I wore the suit hard collar for four months. Oh, no. I don't 24 remember. hours a day. No, no. I wouldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Oh, you had three levels too. Did they go from the front? Oh, Tammy and Tammy Porter too. Well, how long ago, Tammy Porter, did you have yours done? Okay, I'm this because this one and then I'm going to I'm get my brush going. Here, I'll finish mine. I thought you were talking to her. I don't want you to miss the chat. That's what you were waiting for. Nice to you. Don't be like me. <laughs> Doing great, finally. Dang, you got. All right, you're in Louisiana. Where did you go in Louisiana to get yours done, Esther? I can't believe mine's been three years. 48, 50. You fractured yeah. your ankle after you had your neck fusion? Oh, God. Hell yeah, if you walking around with that that collar on, that thing doesn't let you move. I had to wear, I had to wear my, my neck collar for four months. God. And then I had to wear a bone growth stimulator because I used cadaver bones all in Shreveport. Mm. I had mine done at Oshner's in New Orleans. Which I was told the other day they won't fix the other two herniated discs in the middle and at the lumbar. Which, oh well. Do what I gotta do. Give me a reason not to vacuum and dust and, well, vacuum at least. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> if I'm doing it, you're gonna do it too. <laughs> I'm not sweeping. I'm going to make you sweep tomorrow. Well, I, okay. I'll do it here for you, but I ain't doing it at my house. I wouldn't even let her clean anything up. I was yelling at her. She was yelling at me about, don't, don't fall, don't fall. Because I do stumble. Because it's dark out in my house and you can't see shit. can't right. see your hand in front of your I face. I stumble in the daylight, too, so. I stumble for you. We went to the crib yesterday and got all kinds of stuff. 
Good Lord. Yeah, Esther, I hated wearing that bone growth stimulator for four months. I would fall asleep with wearing it because you could hear it ticking. Ticking? Yeah, oh, it's it's that. it's Ooh, like sorry. just barely. Excuse my French. It's just barely. No, a tick. I can't stand noises like that. Repetitive, repetitive noises. Mm -hmm. where you go tick, tick, tick. No, 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 no. At Excuse least my French. <laughs> I said, I said, oh f that, because I forgot we were on live. Oh, look at my things yelling at me. Pay your phone bill. Let's see. I'll do that tomorrow because tomorrow it is the pits. I ha and I hope oh, that you no. don't have any Come headaches on. afterwards or any hand and arm pain afterwards. They told me mine's not going to get any better. But hi, Karen. I'll and just Satu continue to take rest of my and medicine. Rebecca. I'll become a drug head. I was in your dream. Oh, really? Hopefully, it was a good dream and not a nightmare. What what kind of dream was it? Who was who was having dreams? Satu said I was in her dream. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think she means it like that. Yeah. Maybe who knows? Oh, Miss 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 Barbara got me a Dremel, a multi-speed Dremel with all kinds of tools for stuff that goes with it. A late happy birthday. Yes, a tick tick tick. Sleep. It has a box and it has stuff to go with it. And I have some stuff for a Dremel um, already. I just didn't have. I have a Dremel that was gifted to me, but it doesn't have variable variable speeds, and I had a really hard time trying to control it. So it wasn't. It's good for like just drilling something that really fast, but <laughs> if you want to have any, uh, uh, what do you call it? control over it that's the, where the problem came in a little bit craft what is it crafty yes shabby shack jude what? did i say that right yeah oh yeah just call her jude hi jude hi jude hey jude <laughs> what is dunnies the dunnies dunnies what's a dunnies what? or do you mean bunnies like dust bunnies because well, i sure got those oh, No, of course it was something like that. So who's playing along tonight? So wait, the dream was what? No, of course it was not a nightmare, but too long to write. But we met and you gave me nicotine liquid and gave you $20. I was planning to come to USA. You yeah. mean nicotine, nicotine liquid? What? If you could come to US, I don't know. That's so funny. Bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? I introduced you to your my crystals. <laughs> what were you taking before? I you know, went to right? Bed? <laughs> Good lord. Or what were you eating before you went to bed? So Shelly's playing, Joy's playing, Tina's playing, Sharon's playing. Shelly's, pl not, wait, I don't know if Shelly's playing. She said hi, but she said me. <laughs> and Sharon gets, sent me a box. Sharon, I let Tigger and the girls open their present because I, well, I opened everything that was wrapped because I wasn't sure if that stuff was for the dogs. And they wanted a present. And we started talking about presents. And I said, ooh, I think there's one in Sharon's thing because they were getting excited because I said the word present. And so I was like, I don't have any presents, guys. And then I went, oh, wait a minute. And I went real quick and got the presents out of the box. And they opened the presents for me. Well, it was Tigger that was opening it. i never seen anything like that. Yeah, Tigger was ripping out the present. He, t he loves opening presents. He gets so excited, he shakes. But he was opening it. And they all had cookies. and, and uh, But I'll show your box on Friday because Friday, um, Friday night... <laughs> What's that? Tomorrow night, right? <coughs> yeah, tomorrow night. What are we doing tomorrow? Excuse me. Empty in the car. <laughs> and then Saturday, we're going to the flea market. And then Sunday, I'm going home. Yeah. <coughs> and then my dog will smell me. Smell like all these other dogs on me. He's be mad. Huh. He get over it. 
bring Tigger with you. I'm not, she's going to take Tigger home with her. No, I think I would rather take, um, no, uh, you can't Winnie. have, you can't have Winnie. Oh, you can have Winnie. <laughs> you can take Winnie. She will make mine lose weight. Yeah. <laughs> Winnie's psychotic. <laughs> I love my gifts. Thank you for the stamp. And those little ornament things you made are so cute. I love those. Those are going to be really cute. I have the my little tree that I usually do like in silvers and like clears. And when my basement is done, which will be very soon, um, next Christmas I'll be able to put the little tree downstairs and put the your little ornaments on it that you sent. It's cool. And they will twinkle in the lights. Entertain them a second. I have to run to the bathroom. All right. And then we'll get started. Let me just go to the bathroom. Well, I can't sing to you, so. Why not? I'm not it. singing. I don't sing. She can sing. I don't sing. <laughs> I don't even sing to my husband or my dog or my kids when they were little. So what's everybody going to do? been working on I was I got some candy in my pocket have you guys ever ate it, any of these these are good have you ever had any of them these are good I got a story when my husband and I first got married he went back we were in his last year of college he said something smart to me turned around bent his head down and I threw one of these at him and they're hard and it, my my aim is not good at all but it pegged him right in the middle of the back of his head and bounced off the wall and he got so mad at me you could say that was the first fight we had after getting married <laughs> but it was hilarious Let's see, Rachel, uh, uh, Rebecca, I know, uh, you've been to, well, I went to one of your auctions just recently, didn't I, I think, I go to so many, have you been teasing each other with Stacy? who, me and Mark, I mean, me and my husband, Barbara, have you been teasing each other, with... no, no teasing, I bet it was Rebecca too, because there's several that I go to, and they're the ladies that host them are so hilarious. Oh, me and Stacy, yes, yeah, she's she's bossy. She bosses me around. Sarcasm. Listen, I am the queen of sarcasm. Once I start going, I don't stop. I have a son who is sarcastic, a husband that's sarcastic. It should be our middle name. In fact, my my son that's sarcastic, he's 27, he tells his people at work that uh, when you meet my parents, you'll see where I get my personality from. But then my husband and I both come out and we're both sarcastic. And they're like his coworkers. Oh my gosh, he is really truthful. Why not be sarcastic? I mean, it gets it. It's not we. It's not that we do it in a bad way. We do it in a hilarious way. Yeah, I am all over YouTube, but just because I'm lazy and I'm tired and I won't do any work, so I sit on the computer. Well, the computer actually sits on my chest. Clint's, what is your name beside Clint's? I understand that. Yes, I understand. Hey, Laura. I got to think of something to call you besides Laura, since you're calling me Red. Hi, Laura. I'm not calling you Auntie Laura. Because <laughs> I think I'm older than Call her witch, witchy. I think I'm older than her, so I can't call her Auntie. Call her what? Auntie? Auntie. Yeah, call her witchy. I have two aunties and... That no, he's not. How is he in auction mode? What do you mean? 
Oh, Nightbot. Oh, I thought you were talking about the, the ticker at the top. No, you... Oh, I'll fix him. Sorry. Thanks for letting me know. I guess I'm too old. You're not too old. Because let me check and fix it real quick. I don't think she's too old. I think I'm older than her. I feel like I'm older than everybody. No. Older than dirt. Not older than everybody. No. I think Jamie. That thing is. It's squirrel. On a whistle. I got that could have used too. <laughs> that is interesting. They asked me if we were uh, teasing each other. I said, no, she's bossy. Me? <laughs> <laughs> you're the bossy one. Uh-uh, you didn't want to uh, me. Oh, go back and sit down. Yeah, well, I told you to go sit down, but you didn't listen. You did the dishes. I did do the dishes. Okay. All right. I was teasing her because she says pen and pin, pin and pin, for P E N and P I N are both said the same. How many other people say it any different? <laughs> A lot of people. Pen and ink pen. Better? Sure. I want a straight pen and I want an ink pen. There you go. You can do that. That'll make it easier. Just give me a damn pencil. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I could just see her arms going together Hi, like this. Bar oh. when she says, hey. <laughs> Bear and beer. Uh -huh. Bear and bear. <laughs> I get teased for saying boys. It's, I don't know. In the South, they don't say what do you boys. Mean? I have two boys. Right. Well, they don't say it like that. What evidently. do they say? Uh, I don't know. Two boys. Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. I, boys I is normal. I couldn't say it to them. Somebody asked me if I was Cajun when I said it like that. Boys. Hi, Kennedy. Bye, Kennedy. <laughs> Rebecca, I was uh, born and lived there for seven years in Illinois outside of St. Louis. And then we moved to Mississippi, Vicksburg. And I lived there for till married my husband. <laughs> then we lived in North Mississippi. Moved to South Mississippi, then we moved to Louisiana. Now we're in Savannah. Where are you at, Tina? What part of the South are you in? I'm in the South too, but I don't. I'm not from here. Hi, Bettina. So I married a Southern boy and had two <laughs> Southern babies. Get a little bit out of the way. Tina, where at in Louisiana? My daddy says, I had my first child in Slidell, Louisiana, which is east of New Orleans. And he come in the room, he said, you could at least have him in the USA. Because <laughs> they call it Slime Dell. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty slimy. She's from right outside Baton Rouge. Right? Ah, so you know what I'm talking about when I say about something about Slime Dell. We go to back. Yeah, that, when you come in from, see, I'm from New Jersey originally, so coming down here, um, I'm lucky that I had people in, I, I've been, when I was 19, I lived in South Carolina for like a year, and then I went back, and then me and my now ex-husband, uh, in, when I was 30, moved to Tennessee, so I already had experience with Southern, but Chris had a hard time when we moved here. He couldn't understand anybody, so basically I had to be a translator. So somebody, we'd be somewhere, and to him, it would sound like, you know, if we were getting directions somewhere because we were new around here and we had to stop somewhere, if we, we both had to go in and, you know, he would say, you know, ask somebody for directions, and the guy, you know, they would say, bam, 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 bam. that's what he heard. And I would say, no, they said to take a left at the light and go down, you know. 
go down yonder for a couple of miles and then make a right and blah, blah, blah. And Chris is like, I really can't understand them. It just all sounds like manera, 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 manera. It really does. <laughs> to him, yeah. And I understand why. Because when I first went to South Carolina, that's pretty much what it sounded like. Because they talked fast. And I talk fast. So I understand that part. But when you're talking fast in a different language, practically, uh, it was not, hard to catch and a, not every word. That, but they, in, in the South like that, they don't give you directions like... Go to Miller Street. And right. Turn no, right. they no, go, you, go go to the to go the to the bridge. go to the big hill with the with the with the grass on it and make a right. And when you see the cow with the three legs, make a left. Like that's how yep. they talk. And it's like what? That's it. <laughs> three legged. I'm writing three legged cow, grassy hill. Like, it, <laughs> that is true. And it's at you know I was I, sometimes I want to tell the GPS why don't you speak Southern? <laughs> it might get me there quicker. Southern mumbles, yeah. Yeah, we're just and ready to go. We're just waiting on you, see Laura. It. God. Can't you see it on You're the late. Thing? Waiting on her, aren't we? Yes, we are. God, God. Laura. Jeez, hurry up. Yeah, I want to know an easy way to get it on. Well, well the gesso. Let's put get the, it on. Put the gesso on the card. You... Wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to see that. I'm is not this mine be, or is this the... I don't know. It was sitting right there. I wasn't going to put uh, paint on it. I don't remember if this is the one, anyway. but me, I had one with Chris and I's picture on it. But I have one for you. Oh, where am I going? I'm not going to put your paint on it, that's for sure. I have cards here. So if you just put the gesso on the card, oh, credit card. Is this... Okay. It's clean. You, you put it on the credit card and then you just... <laughs> you're done. <laughs> You're done. Can you show us how to do that again? I'm not sure I got it. <laughs> oh, that time we go. <laughs> That's a different stroke. Uh, oh, really? You have a stroke for different folks? <laughs> All right. Let's get started before Laura has a coronary. Oh, please don't. Um, no. You know what I should do? I should just not tell her what it is and you and I can do it and see if everybody else can figure out what we're doing. How about we do that? <laughs> Hand me the doilies. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's not that. <laughs> that would be funny, though. You guys, you, you guys have to figure out what we're doing. <sighs> oh. Tammy, I had to sleep the other night flat on my back because the muscle spasms. It just, they just pop up right out of nowhere, don't they? Collage. College. Been there, done that. Yep, yeah, this is my college right here. I'm a graduate. I have a doctorate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we need stuff to collage, don't we? Whoa, tight fit. Let me go grab. I'm not thing. moving. Why? So that way I don't get it in oh. the way. I was like, <laughs> why? I thought something was wrong. All right, collage. We need something to collage. What do you want to collage? Book page. Okay. Sure. Book page works for me. Tissue paper. Tissue paper works good. Butt hair? No butt hair. I draw the hand line to the hair. What's well, not funny? Oh, doing it our way. Uh huh. On the guessing. Ha ha ha. I think she let you know the first one. Y'all, you let her know, let them know the first. Um, I thought I saw Kennedy in here, and I keep seeing everybody saying hi, Kennedy. But I'll never keep seeing her name. Oh, oh, help! Oh, no. Did you hurt yourself again? Yeah. I just, all this stuff just fell over and I just slammed my hand on the thing. She is going to put herself in an early grave. Oh, I got a book page, tissue paper, I got this gift tissue paper. Don't touch it! Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, but I didn't. I don't think I flinched very much. <laughs> Let me grab some skizzers. They're in here. Just you don't have to suck in. It's good. I won't good, stab you in the rib. rib. Good, good. <laughs> you wouldn't stab it in the rib. It would kind of go in the fat. <laughs> <laughs> it gets stuck in fat. 
That's how I think about it too. Like when somebody says, "Oh, I don't want to, you know, poke you in the back," or like, well, "Don't worry, I have plenty of fat back there. It ain't gonna make no difference." So, in your in your case, what here? What do you use to put glue? Okay. But I gotta I gotta put some in here. I didn't realize I had none. I'll have to take the one with the paint on it would be pretty good. I gotta see what words are on there first. Oh good. Inky. Give her that one. Now. Hi, Carla. Inconvincible. Hi, Carla. Anybody that came in? Hi, Miss Mary. Mary. Mary had a little land. Jeez. Did get some water? What? Is it, is it, it shouldn't be a lot of water. So it might not be shaken up very well. Because I literally did like three, three quarters glue and one quarter water. Quarter water. So maybe it just needs a little more shaking. Where it's stuck, please. This I do it at home so it can get done faster. It's usually I'm behind. Don't worry. We, won't, we have a don't leave behind policy. No student left behind. You mean you you see in my house? Yeah. Uh -uh. No. Huh? I'm, I'm muttering to myself. Oh, she's muttering. That's better. I am one of those people that play with stuff, and if you don't get your hands dirty in the first five minutes, you're not really doing it. Really? Five minutes exactly? No, well, it could be ten. It could be oh, three okay. and a half. Oh, okay. Good. Because, yeah, it might take me a little more than five minutes. But, but I, um, did you, oh, did you see my message about the uh, art vending machine? Heck no. Uh, down at TPAC, which is the Tennessee Performing Arts Center, they have an art, they have these all over the country and like in certain areas. Um, they have what's called an art vending machine and they have like Little works of mixed media art for five bucks you can buy. Really? Isn't that cool? And I thought maybe if we get a chance, we'll go down and pick one up and just to see. We'll each get one and see what they look like. Hey, that would be interesting. Yeah, I think it would be fun. <clears throat> I wonder if Scad's going to do that. There's arts college. And it's it, it's usually in any major city that has an art influence in any way, like you know an art college or whatever. Yeah. So they probably have one. I'll, I can look online and see because it shows wherever they are. So we can look and see. 
But I had seen it a long time ago, and they only had them in like a couple places, and now they're like all over the place. That's cool. I'm just now learning about the neighborhood mailboxes. I mean, uh, libraries. What do you mean neighborhood libraries? They're little houses that people will put in their front. Oh, yeah, yeah, curb. yeah, yeah. I've seen them here. Yeah, I saw one today. Where? I don't remember where we were. Oh. Well, we didn't go that far, so my. Well, there was one in, at the Creative Reuse, right outside the thing. Did you I, see it? But it wasn't. For, yes. It was to take. We could have taken it with us. I could have put it in my yard, but I didn't want to. I don't want weird people. Yes, I did see that. In my yard. But <laughs> but they had one there. I was tempted to get it at one point because I thought that would be cool. But My neighbor um, in New Orleans, uh, she had one. Her and her husband had one. Online, not online, in their front yard. <laughs> hmm. Huh. Squirters on there. Move this one here. Well, if it's there the next time I go, maybe I'll grab it and maybe I'll put it, um, talk to the neighborhood. Mm, yeah, talk to the town of Ridgetop about putting it up at the house there. We have like that old yeah, house yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And they're renovating it, something on it, even though we don't have a damn police station yet. Um, but I'll talk to them about putting it there because I think it would be kind of interesting to have yeah. there. Useful. Something useful in that stupid park. That'd be park good is, for kids. I yeah, mean, it would be. And people go walking through there every day. We used, so. to, have the, we used to have the bookmobile, did y'all, yep. when you were little? Yep. And my mom would never give me a dime for it. Oh, ours was free. Oh, ours wasn't. We had to pay for books. In Mississippi, what'd you expect? <laughs> I must have used it for excess paint. Miss Barbara hey. is the special guest. Hey. Miss Barbara hey, hey. Hamilton. Hi, Miss Mary. AKA Red. <laughs> Loud Big mouth. Red or, or what was it? Big Box Barb? The Big Box, remember? Chris called you Big Box Barb because you had a oh, huge yeah. box. <laughs> Because he had to pick up the box that was going to her one time from my auction. And he goes, tell her I'm going to call her Big Box Bar. Because every time I, there's a box to her, it's huge. It's a good dang thing he didn't say Big Butt Bar. No, he would I think never, I he would come, never do that. I think I'd come and visit him. That's one thing he's smart enough not to do. i come and visit him in his sleep. You should. Come, go and visit him in his grave. Well, how'd he Scare get there? Him. I put him there. Scare him half to death. Now, my neighborhood is a brand new neighborhood, and they don't have one of those mailboxes yet. I might have to do that. I'm not getting my kids booked, so. <laughs> No, but since I go to the Creative Reefs, I can get so many books there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yes, put it in the do. one here in the town. So I can keep that thing stocked all the time. That's why yeah. it's probably a good idea to bring it up. Whatever dumbass is running that stupid park and I mean, it makes house sense. project. There was Harry Potter books in there at the well, Creative Reuse. I was just getting ready to say, there's a bunch of them at Creative Reuse. Yeah. Also, game cards. I don't know if I picked them up or not. What game cards? Harry Potter. Ooh. I don't know if I picked them up or not. I don't like Harry Potter, but I know somebody who does. Yeah. Mm. A lot of water? It's difficult to say a lot of water. What's oh, a lot of water? Oh, because of your because of your accent, Setsu? Is that what you mean? A lot of water. A lot of water. But we say a lot of. A lot of water. <laughs> I don't know anybody that says a lot of water. Give well, me some I mean, more. yeah, I guess they do. That's what we I always say. Just a give lot me of some more water. Give me some more. I need more water. We mush everything together. Give me some more. Yeah, I when we first moved here to Mississippi, well, not to here, but to Mississippi, we nobody understood anything out of our household, in even at the schools. I would say something, and then they would call me, you know, different names and stuff, and then I couldn't pass or anything because I didn't know what they were saying. And we moved to a very rural area of Mississippi, 
and it was my mother would go up to the school because I'd get in trouble because they thought I was cussing them. I don't remember what words. Uh, you sure you weren't? <laughs> I'm sure I wasn't. No, because I come home crying. Hey, because they cake. Because one of them called me. Uh, uh, oh. It's right there. A coon ass, and I was like, Mom, uh, teacher's cussing me. And I was in kindergarten or first grade, something like that. She had never heard the word before. Who did? My mom, when uh, we moved to Mississippi, we never had heard goon ass or crawfish or. <sighs> another piece of this. I want another piece. Hi, Mary. I love to watch some of your stuff. You're just so peaceful. <laughs> now Laura, on the other hand, that she'll Laura. get in there and she'll just tell everybody, don't do it that way. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Laura. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I don't know how you... <laughs> I don't know how you do it. No. Nah. Because every time I've gone to your site, you're talking and not crafting. Me, I just hadn't done anything yet. You know why? I tell y'all the truth. I've been lazy. lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get my area cleaned off. Well, you could have didn't take four hour naps. I know. <laughs> I can't help it. She has she has been she has had me lazy the last few days. I mean I still does been doing stuff every day, but not as much as normal. Laying there on the couch with the girls, the girls must think something's wrong with me. Because um, I'm usually not sitting down that long. I can't help it. But I'll still get up and disappear and come in and just cleaning and vacuuming and sorting stuff. I asked the doctor if that was normal, and he said, for what I've had done, yes. So, come on, try. Oh, that's the one I just did. That's why I was like, wait a minute. I did that a long time ago. I thought I was over here. I lived in Vicksburg. She lived on a riverboat um, with her family. River City. And 12 cats. No cats. <laughs> no way. My dad wouldn't let us have a cat. He knew we would terrorize they it. They ran hooch up and down the river. <laughs> Back in 1845. <laughs> no. My dad did fish on the river. Scared us to death when we'd get out there with him on that boat. And I learned to water ski in a lake off of the river. That scared crap out of me because I sure knew an alligator bit me on my butt when I fell. <laughs> it was the ski that hit me. <laughs> I am like Only you getting hit by a ski and say, an alligator bit me. Well, my daddy jumped in that water and tried to save me. <laughs> <laughs> if an alligator bit you, you wouldn't have a second to even scream. It oh, would I take know you it. under. All right. Now, anybody ready? Does anybody need a few seconds? A few minutes? A few hours? A few milliseconds? Macomb, oh yeah. Husband's family is from Liberty and Zion. Yeah. My husband is on his way today, tonight, to uh, Tupelo. The hair. Get rid of that. He appraises real estate, so he's going up there for the Civil War Society, which I think is pretty cool and interesting because he gets to go and, see, you know, see Civil War stuff. All right, we're going to, we are going to pick another card. Where did the keyboard go? <laughs> like, where did it go? Oh, it's not the one you threw on the floor. Yeah, it is, but I put it up there so I wouldn't throw it on the floor anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> I love this one. A 
apply paint with the credit card. Do it. Do it to it. What color paint you want? Orange. Orange? How did I know that was going to come up? I don't know. How did I know that was going to be the color of choice? What color orange? Uh, kind of medium. Medium? Yeah, how that works. medium? I get that. Yeah, that'll work. How do you get the what? The, your, <laughs> know this thing mm -hmm. off of here. You have what thing? Oh, give me a minute. Okay. Give me a minute. That's the bright daisies. You heard? I like those dish. Give those me tissue a minute. Paper. She could paint those in right there, couldn't she? No. Yeah, you could. No. No. Oh. No, ma'am. I actually, my daughter-in-law's mom and stepdad live in Tupelo also. I got some blues and greens. What else is new? Paint borders. Yeah, crappy paint. Do you want other colors orange or just one? Right now, I, I, I need mom. I know, but you can't slide back. It's going to be a pain in the ass for you. I don't mind getting it all. I'll use a teal from turquoise. I'll use a teal out of turquoise. Yeah, you don't that look good with orange? Yeah. Just let that dry first. That's what's going to have some Don't worry. You're going to have some muddy. Uh-oh, this sleeve is going to be a hot mess. Yesterday we got home late because by the time we we decided to go to Cracker Barrel after the creative reuse and we were just going to go to fast food initially and then Barbara suggested going to Cracker Barrel. We went there and we ended up there for a while. By the time we got home, it was like getting later and I was like exhausted and I was like, huh, it was almost eight thirty. No, it wasn't that late. It wasn't that late? No, My but it was. It. But it was too late for me. Yeah, it was. No, it was. I think it was like eight. And I said, oh crap, we would have, you know, I would have to start around 8.30 or 9 at the latest. And I just wasn't prepared yet. Right. And I was like, well, we'll just have to do it tomorrow because, you know, just being tired. See, I have, I'm still having this thing with being on Eastern time. Yeah. Remember me keep asking you, what time is it? Where's time? Oh, oh yeah. My, I don't think about my phone. I think it's a glossy paint because I think it's a glass for glass. Oh. I just realized that as I was sitting here because that wouldn't look. Yeah, it's not too bad. What's that? Oh, part of my little, page. Yeah, it was a little piece of. I thought it was a piece of glue. Part part of my page that didn't get. Um, I cleaned it off. <laughs> While you were sitting there, I was cleaning off. Thank the, you. The credit card. I think I'm. I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll add a little orange. Just a little. Yeah. That, would, that would pop out those orange flowers again. Yeah, it's going to be translucent, so it's going to be a little bit weird. I'm just going to do a little bit of it. It's on the translucent side. Okay. Just going to do a little something, something. Thing. <laughs> I'm used to that. When I cry for my mother, she does that. <laughs> Hi, Ray. 
Angélica. Uh, Rinka. Don't make, a, don't make alcohol spray with acrylic paint because the alcohol is a uh, solvent and if you add acrylic paint to it and mix it up, it'll work for the day or so and then it's all of a sudden going to get real weird and chunky. It'll get like these little uh, bits in it because what's happening is the alcohol is going to break down the acrylic paint because alcohol is a solvent to acrylic. Acrylic is like a plastic. So putting alcohol and acrylic paint together is not a great idea. Yeah. Your best bet is to use some sort of an ink, uh, like a dye ink. You could put that with a little bit of alcohol and uh, water. So if you use water and some alcohol and um, some dye ink, like printer ink or like a dye uh, like ink um, or even like a watercolor ink or even food coloring, but acrylic paint isn't gonna isn't gonna be your best option you can make an acrylic pink paint spray just don't put alcohol in it yeah you can use food coloring with alcohol but what I would do if you want to make an acrylic spray take water and put water and then your acrylic paint squirt it in there um, and that's the best way to do that if you can use distilled water because with dye sprays I tell people to put water and a little bit of alcohol but I learned that if you put the alcohol in with the acrylic paint sprays that that's not a good idea yeah for one paints water base and it's really not mixing with the alcohol is great well the, it's the acrylic it breaks down mm -hmm. and it, all my all my homemade sprays that I had made I had to throw out because when I sprayed them they had like um, slime in them yeah it, well what happens is it's almost like when you spray it and the color it, it's almost like it you get these little specks that don't just like of the paint because it because it breaks it's breaking down and so this it doesn't go on nice anymore like it, it'll last you like you can use it for probably up to a month kind of but some paints react differently so if you do it some of them do it right away others it takes us a little while but it's in the long run it's not going to be worth it for you and you're going to waste a lot of time and energy so um yeah, there's tons of ways to make different sprays. I have a bunch of videos on my channel showing how to make various sprays. But if you insist and want to use alcohol specifically, use alcohol with printer ink or alcohol, because you can get printer ink in the bottles for under 20 bucks on Amazon and get six colors. You get black, you get magenta, those are five colors. I don't six know. Six colors. Six colors, because you get black, you get yellow, you get light scion, regular scion, light light Array. light magenta regular magenta and um you can mix every color under the rainbow with those so you can make i've made an entire thing of uh of sprays an entire thing of every color uh, i even made oxide sprays and made all kinds of different sprays um but if you ever have any questions um, Rinka, you can always just message me on Facebook or, or email me and I can help you if there was something you wanted to make and you weren't sure how to go about it. I can either lead you to a video or give you some things that'll help it. Hi, Ray. She says, but can I put glue in it? For, for what? What do you want to put glue? Well, glue is also kind of acrylic based, like, like Elmer's glue, like Paul. You don't want any kind of alcohol with anything other than a dye. And a dye is going to be something like a transparent, like thin. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want it shiny, instead of giving it the oxide, what do you put in it? If you want it shiny, you put in, uh, you put in varnish, gloss varnish. That's what I was wondering. But, um, yeah, glue is a binder, but you don't need that if you're, you're talking about inks and and uh you don't want to you, you if you're depending on what you want to do i mean you don't need a binder if you're just making a paint spray that's going to spray on your page and sink into your page it doesn't need a binder if you were going to make something where you were using like uh mica powders then you would want a binder of some sort because mica powders are not pigment typically they are they might have like a small amount of pigment in it but if you want the mica to stay adhered to your page take a little gloss varnish liquid gloss varnish like i have 
this stuff, there's this stuff. You can use any kind of gloss varnish mixed with water and then put it in your mica and that would uh, that would hold it down. Don't use hairspray because hairspray is not meant to be a permanent thing. And when people use hairspray, it's, you know, it, it can gum up after a while and it can turn hazy after a while and it's not the best thing to use. I had to put the orange back in it. Oh, I can give you a different orange. It's cool. going to be less transparent. That's okay. This is good. Okay. I like it. Does anybody need a few minutes? My hands are dry. Food coloring chart for alcohol sprays. Um, food coloring chart. Uh, you, you can use like a... I mean, you can use a, yeah, I mean, you can use a color wheel. You can use some sort of color wheel to mix or just, you know, you can, you can look it up on Google. Like if there's a specific color you want to mix and you're not sure of how to do it, you can go on Google and say, how do I make the color turquoise or how do I make the color whatever? And it'll kind of give you an idea, but it's probably going to talk in terms of like paint as far as like titanium white and phalo blue or whatever the heck. So it might not make a lot of sense, but you can get the idea. Just here. Just well, you were this. talking. That's all right. I'll wait. They can hear me anyway. Okay. You can put that on. Oh, food coloring charts on Pinterest. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I, if, if they show you how to mix food colors, uh, yeah, then totally. I, don't, I didn't know what you meant by that. But yeah, if they if anything that'll show you how to do it, then you should be, then that should be good. You had a fever, Mary? I hope you feel better. Did you have the flu? Yeah, 99 to 102. Did you get 102? That is pretty good. You know if you go to the doctor and you run a fever, they're going to give you a booty shot. <laughs> now everybody's going to ask what that is. <laughs> <laughs> give you a shot in your booty. I've been good. Yeah, I don't know about Ray. It'll make you do the I booty mean, dance. Stacy, Stacy. I got my shot the other day. She got her a booty shot. Was that shot. yesterday or the day before? Yesterday. Oh, it was yesterday. I got my shot yesterday for my arthritis. Had scribble words or good appetites. I ain't good at this one, so I'm skipping it. You're skipping it? I hate doing graffiti oh, and scribble good. words. Good. Good, she said. Good. You're good, bitch. I usually write. Oh, this heart. is not going to be oh. ugly. Okay. Oh. I'll get glue on my shirt. Gotta make sure everything's dry. Correct the pen on the ass pens. Where are those other ones at? No? Oh. What in the heck are you doing? Writing help. <laughs> Why? Because it needs help. You have to trust in the process. I know it. And I do. That doesn't even look like help. That looks like H E H. We are getting a pen inspiration store in our city. <laughs> 
I had to stop and think about it every single time I want to say that word. Inspiration. It's store. a store where you can go in there and do the activities yeah. and stuff. Yeah. I've heard of that. My thought is, is I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to go in there. I don't think. I don't think. This, I don't think they sell anything. What do you mean? I bet they don't sell the much. No, for me to take home and do it myself. You they might. I mean? I mean, I don't know. I think you just gotta do it there. I guess. I, don't know. I take um, evening primrose twice a day. Oh, that's right. That's wrong. I don't know. Chocolate screen. You said, I don't know. It's green. Yeah. As if the fact that it was green had anything to do with why it won't write. Hey, it's writing I, on your glass pretty good. I know, it's the charcoal and marble. That's because I just... That's all right. There we go. Scribble it. Scribble it. How long have you been feeling bad, Mary? Oh, I never smoked ever. And now I've got this asthma. I think when it's come off. I don't know. I can't get that little finger inside the And they kept shake. asking me when they were doing those long tests, are you sure you didn't smoke? Huh. Uh, yeah. I think I'd know if I did. <laughs> yes, I do know I didn't smoke. It's kind of a stupid answer, a question. Scribble words is just, if you didn't notice, is just, uh... She scribbles. Yeah, just basically scribbling, like, as if I was tagging something. Just as if I was just being, like, a little punk kid making graffitis. Well, you're, or you're playing like you're the teacher. And you're you want me to do yours? Yeah. Playing like the Wait, teacher. Just, do just don't do it on the orange spots. <laughs> Which is everywhere. Let's just knock down some of these that are really thick. I didn't do it on those. Huh? You can use your marker paper. Uh, thingy. Is that chalk? Yeah. Chalk. Oh, oh, this one. Is, yeah, this one's the one that I got at the crater reading. I have. I can't decide what kind to get, so I just just don't do it. I like the the Poscas. They just are persnickety for me because I used to sell. Oh shoot, I can't even remember the name of them. Uh, You could use them on, in outdoor as well as on paper and such, so and they would last on the outdoors. But things they that would? you would put outside. And I'd oh, put I I've seen those markers on Amazon for like the rock painting and stuff. Yes, 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 yes. And that's the only ones I ever would sell because then it covered glass and outdoor things, ceramic things, and paper things, and plastic crap. You name it. That's a cool thing to do that. Brush tip. I'm going to have to go back to school to figure out what that graffiti means. <laughs> right. <laughs> what you're writing is. Oh, I can't tell you. It's, it's like, a secret. If I tell you, I'd have to kill you. It's like, like the, oh, I don't mind, but. I'm writing. Barbara is a secret spy. <laughs> she must be eliminated. Steal all her craft supplies. Oh, shoot, I got too much stuff. That's why I can't, I can't do any, um, videos. I've got too much, too many. That's girls. not why you're making excuses. You can That's do videos. Can. You can do, do videos. I don't know where all my crap is because it's you not put away. Can. 
get stuff out to do your videos. Don't make an excuse to make a video. Damn it's it. uh, in different A paintbrush and a couple pieces of paint. That's all you need. I hear you. And you can do a video because she does painting. And so I I'm waiting for her to show me how to paint on a video. I do stained glass. I do wood. I do plastic. Well, you don't do I anything do. if you don't do anything. Do okay. You? I used to do stained glass. <laughs> Pepper mache. Sure you did. So you got to prove it to us now. I ain't gonna. <laughs> You're gonna. I do it at my own speed. What? Six years? Yeah. No. Hey, it's making my husband happy watching me put my crap together. Really? Yes, it is. It's making him happy. It does. He comes in the room and mm -hmm. smile. He smiles. Yeah, because he's like, finally, you're cleaning up this damn mess. <laughs> no, I keep making bigger mess. Because then I'll say, oh, I think I might move it over there. <laughs> and then I have to take everything that's over there. Move it out and put it somewhere else in. All right. Everybody's favorite and yours, too. Okay, Laura, here we go. <laughs> Add a doily or so. Add a doily. I have to go get doilies. I'm like, where's my mouse? I'm all discombobulated. discombobulated. I, you know, she used to have one of these things that was pink I and it had this eye and it looked like a... What? Who? <laughs> You had a pink mouse. I do and, still have it. Well, it looked like an alien eyeball. Oh, oh, oh. I still have it. It's just not in here because I, I can't stand having to move a mouse around and that one stays uh, stationary. I can't stand it. So, Laura, do um, like I do. I tear this, tear my doily up. She does too. And puts it in she odd places. I can't find it. You know it. I don't remember what I did wrong because I moved the damn thing. Great! Look what you did! I, I didn't do a dang thing. Exactly. <laughs> I have some big white ones. I guess we okay. Need those. An audience down the damn hallway. I took them out of here and put them somewhere, and now I don't know where the hell I put them. <sighs> Sorry, I got the hiccups and the burpees. There's this one, look. <laughs> I don't want a big one. No, I don't either. There's hearts and there's... You know, I started saying, you know there's skulls on these things right here? Uh -huh. But it, it isn't. It's something oh. else. I don't know what the heck it is, but it looked like it. Actually, it was. I'm gonna color mine first. Are you gonna color yours? You gonna spray it or? Yeah. What color spray you want? Orange. Dark teal. teal. Sure. And I've got this one, which is the plain Jane baseboard, which is just a matte color. And then I also want to see orange. This works. Extra, that's the extra one. Is this orange? Yeah, these are my permanent ones, which dry permanent, which is good. That one. Lime green. Is this one supposed to be for the lime green? No, that's not what I want. Um, what are the lime green? Hey, Laura, my sister lives in Oak Grove. Huh. No. Yeah, I'm sure you know where that's at. 
Translating oh, you. Oh, they're in here. That's right. These are the other ones. That's right. Oh, not these, not these. I'm gonna put those there. Okay. And we're gonna use those. Just those. Which ones are there? These are the permanent ones. All right. Um, let's see. Got orange. I got a dark teal. What in the hell did you do? She butchered it. No, no, I <laughs> no, took the little cool. flower. I took the little flowers out of it. They look like a crown. There's the ball. Yeah, there they go. I watched trans a, a lake. They live, she lives in Oak Grove. Oak Grove's near Transylvania. Um, Transylvania. Let's see. That's trying to make uh, the place where the, where the paper mills at. There's a bunch of cotton fields there. You should know about them cotton fields. Wow. Uh, Laura said, where, Barbara? Transylvania. I'm not kidding you. They got a bat tower. Oh, you have a lime green. I made a freaking lime green. That's not lime green. That's the teal. What? Mm -hmm. Don't you, you remember, right? I made a lime green, right? Right? I didn't watch right, that. Right, Barbara? I fell asleep doing that one. Thank you. Real nice, Barbara. Real nice. What do you want me to tell you? I do. I got this tumble dye. I could have told you. I don't know. I wasn't watching. I was cheating on you. Oh, man. With my pillow. With what? With my pillow. With your pillow? My pillow. I deconstructed the doily. You did. You showed it. You want to spray them on a paper so that you can have them sure. in a paper too? Surely, 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 surely. Different. Oh, I like that much better. Come on, pop that gun. I'm not over gonna freeze, man. No, it wasn't that. <laughs> I'm just it was, kidding. This is lighter. I'm just kidding. They look the same exact to me. That's weird. They do look the same exact. Did you spray it in your first one? On this one? Yeah. Yeah. See how it's uh, two different colors? Oh, right there. It's very, oh, it's only a little bit. I can't even tell. Yeah, I know. It's just a teeny bit. I thought it was going to be lighter than that. But it is not. This one will back out. Makes it lay down. <laughs> makes the paper relax. I just felt something go. Mm. Is that your phone? Yeah. 
I just gotta remember where it's oh there it is. No, this is the one that was the other orange, the dark one. Paper stone clink, fake desk. Maybe another piece. Hey, you're out for that. <laughs> I think most of that's on the dry on the desk, I think. On the air? Probably. No? Yeah. Maybe not. No. What do I know? I don't know. That up there was a tree. Is this yours? No. Oh. Well, that's already done. That's good. You want an orange one? No. Like, yeah, you can put it down. That'd be cool. You can use the glass cutting board as a craft mat. I mean, I use the piece of glass, just a tempered piece of glass. And cutting boards are typically tempered, so that'll work. Um, also, if you wanted, it depends on how big you wanted, but if you just wanted a 12 by 12 mat, the We Are Memory Keeper one, you can usually find mat for under $15, and that's a 12 by 12. I've seen glass cutting mats in Dollar Tree. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have the glass cutting mats in Dollar Tree. Yeah. Well. Actually, my Dollar Tree doesn't have the glass ones, but because I looked one time. Some of them do, I guess, and some of them don't. But yeah, get yourself a couple of the cheap cutting, you know, cutting boards and use that. Just don't get one with texture on it. You know, some of them have that, like, texture, like the ones mm -hmm. up in my, in my kitchen. Don't get ones with texture because then it's going to be harder to, you know, you'll have, like, everything you'll, you'll do will have marks on it. Oh, that's good that you have a glass table, Rebecca. I'd break it. <laughs> I'm not in. Nah. And my store I wasn't open two weeks, and I had one of them cabinets oh, with God. the glass top on yeah. it. Broke it. How? I put a two glass. I picked up two um, clay pots to put, that was glued together, epoxy together. Oh. They weren't dry. Oh. And they slid yeah. apart and. Huh. Went through the glass. Yeah, you, you might want to stay away from glass then. <laughs> no, it was the epoxy. 
I never used it after that. After that, I used the E6000. Jump off the table. Give me that puppet up thing. Oh, it what got oh, glue on your baby. She's wrecking the place. Get it. That's water. Thank you. Suzanne. What did you say? Oh, it's, um, you know, my brothers used to do that, Baba Wawa. What? It says Baba Wawa. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be sad in that one, I think. Baba Walkers. Oh, you need it? Oh. Okay. I thought you were going to take it because you were going to put it away. <laughs> mm, you need a little glue. You can't have it. can't have it all. I just... can't have your cake and eat it too in this life. I just don't want your character. I was just kidding. <laughs> that. We watched Grey Gardens the movie and the documentary. 
It's some kind of nasty people. They're not nasty. They've got issues. Yeah. Those hoarders. Things. No, they not hoarders. They didn't hoard things. They just didn't clean things. And they, they just lived a different life because they were just, you know, they were so used to having everything done. So they just didn't know how to function. But, I mean, yeah, it's still gross. But I think they're interesting characters. They were interesting. The movie was interesting. But it was like, you know, I knew people lived like that because I appraised some of their houses. Yeah. But I never, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand why they didn't wash anything and clean anything. I, well, you know, that's, through it's the gross, but, food. I mean, their story itself, just, it's interesting. The fact that, you know, they both went through a lot of crap in their life. You can kind of see why they ended up in that situation. You know what I mean? Like, you can kind of, like, they had, none of them had, neither of them had, like, a real grip on reality. Yes, my channel name is Barbara Hamilton, and that's Barbar A, as opposed to what? As opposed to someone who spell it Barbara. What? That is B -A -R -B -R -A? Streisand. B R B R B A R B R A is Barbara Streisand. B yours is B A R B A R. Mine's Barbar A. Do I spell it right? Yep, I do. Yeah. Because now I'm questioning myself. Nope, it's Barb. <laughs> yeah. R-A. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Hmm. Barb R-A. That's it. That's it. It's okay, um, Rebecca. I know sometimes some people have a hard time spelling it. I mean, it's just not a name. It's just not a name that is, you know, out there. I don't know why my mother named me that anyway. I'm glad she didn't call me by my middle name. Thank God. I love that. <laughs> All right, let's see you. Okay. Marie. That's not me. <laughs> I'm going to make up something. With Anne. With an E? Nope, just Anne. My sister's is Anne with an E. Mm -hmm. Hugs. Go to sleep, little five-year-old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thing about five year olds, they don't like to sleep. They, no. they, they, don't, they think they don't need it. Yeah. Alright, are we ready for the next one? Laura, I'm tired of waiting on you. We've been over here waiting the whole time. Are you ready, Laura? Got all your pretty doilies down. <laughs> Try that. Oh, never mind. Well, it's sticky, and I don't want you to put something else on it and then it be sticky. I don't think it would dry by the time we got to it. My boys wouldn't go to bed either. I mean, they would go to bed, but they would lay there and read or... One would talk on his phone or play a game or something like that, and I figured it. But since I got to school a long time, I didn't fight him. All right, next card. I said I said I was tired of waiting on you. We were waiting on you, Bar um, Barbara, <laughs> Laura. 
I said, I'm just tired of waiting on you. Use blue. Well, we're gonna use I another blue. <laughs> Use another one. I'll find you a good one. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Janie. Janie's here? Yep. Oh, hi, Janie. Same color. Yep. What are you gonna do to use it? Hmm? What are you gonna do with it? I'm thinking. Um, I'm going to do that. Can I have a flatter brush than this? Yeah. What you want a little one like this? That or? Work. I, it, or no, I'd like a bigger one. Okay. Like that one there. This one? Yeah, okay. that'll work. Uh, that was just to put Jessa on with that wasn't yeah. for anything else. Borrow some paint down here. You know why a brush splits like that? Why? When it gets the V in it. See how the paint's in here? All mm -hmm. mine are like that. Dry, they dry, it dries in them. And then... But the paint will hold it together. Right. It's just the way it goes. Know. Hey, for a little tip of info. I know. This is navy blue. Do I want navy blue? Or maybe I want this one. This one's darker than these. Maybe I'll start with this one. How are you doing, Miss Janie? Is everything okay with you? Hi, Kathy. No, it's Alexander Hamilton, not Barbara. Oh, it's not going to name my kid Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> I kept telling him. Why? Did Mark say something about that? No. It, somebody in our family said something about Just go ahead and name him Alexander. <laughs> Scott Alexander? No. That's all right. He wouldn't have come out that way. He wouldn't have been a an Alexander. Now yeah, we're gonna put some dark blue on there too. Okay. Take 
பண்ணோம் Hi, Kathy. Um, I don't know how you say your last name. Aubrey? Uber? Uber, I think. It's like window screen or the chicken wire or your power. Oh, yeah. Pretty color, yeah. Now it is. <laughs> I got milk glass color. Uh -huh. I've gotten some milk glass from the uh, Goodwill at my house. Huh. Almost done. Let me check it out. Okay. Oh, so it's just oob? I thought it was oobre. No? It's just oob? Like boob without the B, she says. Oh. When I was a teenager, they would you'd go to the grocery store. I'd go with my father. And he'd sign, I, he'd, he'd sign the check and I'd write the check. And they'd ask me, how do you spell that? Well, my main name was Bull. B-U-L-L. -L. I looked at him and I said, Really? <laughs> You don't know how to spell bull. It's like C O W. My dad was like, Don't do that again. <laughs> Embarrassing. I don't have any water in my brush. You don't water down these cheap ass paints? <laughs> You're just doing a wash? Kind of, yeah, I was supposed to. Yeah, but I wanted it kind of dark like that on the edges because it would be fading out, but it just didn't work out that way. Yeah, that's true. Those paints are good, good, good enough. Stupid. Paints are stupid. Some what are... can you expect for 50 cents? Hey, <laughs> I'm not going to blame it. They work, right? Sort of. I'm not going to Ooh, my board. Sorry. It's okay. I'll, I'll forgive you this time. Okay. Next time you have to pay a penalty. Alright, this one ain't staying. Oh. Does anybody need some extra time? No, it's real broke down. Hi, Rose. My son finally got it. When I was painting a lot. How come you're area doesn't clean that easy what do you mean clean what easy like paint are you do you have a glass mat what are you using to clean it up because i'm using a baby wipe so it's using, wet i was using water <laughs> yeah either works i 
Let's put a apple back on the music paper. Musica. Whoa. It's making it rain in here. Where? You, you went like that and it went choo. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I always, when I was painting a lot, I always restored my brushes with soap in them. And the bristles. Why? Because, 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 because when you would put up, put soap in them, it would form them, you would form them into their shape. Yeah. They would stay that way. Well, that one won't. No, <laughs> no, that, that one was, has been messed up since they once. Why I use it as a gesso brush? <laughs> it's okay. All, All right, right next card. Next card. Stencil. Rose, try using some muscle. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Windex in a paper towel. For what? Wiping your glass mat if you're. Um, baby wipe smear. What kind of baby wipes are you using? If you use those synthetic ones that are like really thin and weird, like sh like they're kind of fibery, nice, those cheap. ones suck. You got to get the ones that are like the thick. And then what I do is when I wipe it, I kind of wipe and scoop it upward and then fold it and then scoop it upward, like right at the edge. And then fold it and then get the rest and scoop it upward. That's why. Because if you just take it and do this, it's going to smear. But if you give it, if you wipe and kind of flick upward so that she's you're not smearing it, then it won't, the ones. then it won't, uh, it won't smear. Smear. Give it a smear. All right. You paint to me. Oh, anyway. What did I say? Stencil. That was the next one. Flick it. Yeah. Flick it. That's what I said. Are they still in this drawer over here? Yeah. Oh, top one. Good. That's a mess. Thank you for... Thank you. It's cold out. Dang. Plastic adheres to everything. That sticky crap. Oh, yeah, I can't get it off of that one. I think there's another one like that. What? That had the three different little holy ones. Mm -mm. Five of them. You know which one you want? Um. Okay, this one. I'm going to use the honeycombs. Honeycombs? No. Careful. Pinched my finger. Yeah. Oh. Okay, my butt's big enough, it scrunched it. Um. So that's what I've been doing to Winnie.
sapone Done? Good. Not doing any more? Nope. That's it. Why? Because I, I like it like that. Oh. She said that's it. Stencil, please. Okay. This is getting in a thing, really. In a thing. Take that one. Hey, I need to see some circles. With some little circles. Oh, this is the cardstock stencil. White. Mixed with white. Professional. Yeah, that's a good one. That's not, I always use my fingers and when on my shop I never had any clothes that had no paint on them. Even my nightgowns had paint on them. And then, um, That's good. never had fingernails because you always kept, had to keep them cut short to keep the paint out of them. Thin You're doing your mixed media. You did the first 40 mixed media mashups yes yesterday alone, or you posted all of them yesterday, you, but you've done them over time. That's awesome, though. Very cool. Sorry if I've not been responding to anything lately because. I've not really been online much. We've been busy doing stuff and sleeping. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> resting, playing with the dogs, watching movies. And tomorrow we're gonna unload my car, which is gonna be freaking cool. Yeah, I just think, think I could get a wagon. We do have a wagon. I've got a magic wagon. 
Oh, that's awesome, Esther. Well, that's right. I think you told me about it a while ago. Duh. That that's a uh, that's a piece of cardstock, so you can just let it dry. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's cardstock. Did I cover this one with tape? No, I didn't even cover it with tape. I was that's cool. I showed that in the class how to make simple stem stemples. Okay, simple cool. stencils. <laughs> I, I must have skipped that class. Put that in the towel, please. Yeah, I must have skipped that one. All right, does anybody need a second or are we ready to go? Cake makes cookies. And my dad makes those cake, cake makes cookies and they're good. They are really good. You take a cake mix and mix it with whatever to make cookies. Mix it with whatever? Yeah, I don't know how he makes them, but he makes them. What about the crackers that you mix with oil and, uh, what do you call that other stuff? Ranch dressing powder mix. What? Doesn't taste like ranch dressing. And what does he put it with? You, you take a whole box of saltine crackers. Oh, saltine crackers. In a bucket. I mean, the bowl. In a bucket. <laughs> and you use, like, a quarter cup of oil, canola oil, and then you put in, um, the ranch dressing powder mix. And then you just kind of roll the bowl after you put the lid on. Roll the bowl. But I had a little extra salt, a little extra, a little garlic, you know, things like that. I put cayenne pepper in mine. Oh, my gosh. Um, somebody. And you crush up the crackers, that we said? Make sure to bake them on silicone mat. Um, no, you don't. You, you heat them. And you can heat them in the oven. And, and for a few minutes, you know, and it'll absorb the oil. Yeah. And then they are just, oh my gosh, they're good. To, you know, huh. they're good with cheese and good with sausage or lunch before. meat. They're very good. Hmm. Next time I make them, I'll send you some. Unless the mailman eats them. My husband had Dobermans when they were little. His name was Doby. I said, you guys were genius. <laughs> Coming up with a name, and what do I do? I named mine Scrappy. <laughs> he was the Scrappy of the bunch. All right, next card. Next one. Now we're going to add some soycles. No, you added hexagon. I added circle there again. Oh, well, even those are dots. Go this way and we'll get some water. Do you have to add circles? <laughs> <laughs> and the water and then you can Look how tiny that is. <laughs> tiny what is? Oh, I know. That's just because. Oh, my mouse, I'm so confused. Oh. <laughs> you know, I was looking at that. I ran over my papers. It's fine. Yeah, I'm going to make sure my finger don't get that crack again. It hurt. Finger don't crack? My finger. Oh, I love it. Hmm. 
these, these, these pastas. Are, are these pastas that you were using? Yeah. Okay. So Make sure you're using them on dry surface only. Dry. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. Doing you said I had to make circles. I know that. But you was tracing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to use dippy dots. You're going to use dippy dots? Yeah, because if you're going to just, just dip that down yeah. there. Yeah. I know. Oh, well, the lid just disintegrated. Nice. Oh, that's interesting. Old paint much? <laughs> Very great. Over my floor that I just vacuumed. Let me get this garbage can so I can dump this in there. Bizarre, I've never seen that happen before. Ooh, give me a damn breath. Okay. okay. Circles. Mm -hmm. Circles. This paint's probably 25 million years old. No, it's not just like that. Well, of course, I don't care. When we moved, I just went through a whole bunch of. You should have seen how many we had to throw away. My ink pads. Oh, there's no circles there. That's because they stored our furniture in a warehouse or the military base. Yeah. So it was there for a year. Why? Well, because of Mark's surgery and then mm -hmm. moving and then trying to find a house. And uh, it was there and then had all my stuff. And crazy ass people packed up my stuff. They would just dump my my. I wasn't worried about my dishes. Huh. I wasn't worried about them. No. Next time. Can I see that? Yeah. Next time I'm packing my own crap stuff. Utilizing it. I packed my sewing machine. And it was a good dang thing because I would have broke that sucker. Huh. And it was it's a Bernina. Yeah. My husband bought it for me for Christmas. Very much a surprise. That was nice. Yeah, they are not cheap. And then for us paint, I figured this could be a little orange. All right, there's my circles. There they are. Would you look at that? And I think some of them stole my stuff because I think one of them took my big chomper thing. You know, your big bite yeah. that's on the big on the metal stand. I can't find my note it's anywhere. Like on metal stand. Yeah, you know, the big one. Uh, I don't know which one you're talking about. You have a blue one right down there. Um, oh! Right there. Oh, oh, the big bite. I yeah. don't know why I was thinking of a die cutting machine. Can you look in the, the third or fourth drawer? And we'll get it. Oh. I'll get some water. Oh, okay. I wanted to grab a cycle maker. Some more water. Do you need some water to drink? If you want mine, Sprite. Sprite. Thank you. Thank you. Now what? Hmm. Yeah. 
another color. That's what we need. Different color. How about this one? This is called Laguna. Let's throw that on there. Let's throw that on there for poops and gigs. Why the heck not? Yes, Jamie is very accident prone. That is for sure. <laughs> oh, good lord. It sounds like you're accident prone too, Rinka. them on this. Oh. Oh, the no. bottom of the chair. Oh, 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 oh. What was that one I was going to have? Oh, this one. Too. Sick. Get rid of that. So we still on the surface? Yes. Well, I wasn't going to move on the bathroom. Oh, it's okay. You could have. You know what? <laughs> Really good, man. I like it. I want to see. Uh, do you have a black ink pad? Ink pad? Hmm? Yeah. I want that. Isn't that what this is? Black ink? Yeah. Well, I want to go around it and shade it. Oh, okay. That's like good. That yeah, black works. Is that the one that is falling apart when this stays on? I don't, no. I don't care. Maybe I should shade in my orange ones with orange ink. You could. I could. could you yeah. sure could. I 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 could
I want to be not the same. Making bubbles. And you're making bubbles? Yep. Look up there. Oh, oh, oh. You're making bubbles. I thought you were doing they look like bubbles on the screen to me. Yeah, they do. I've done that with paint before, but not with ink. It's easier with the ink, probably. It's, but look, when you put it out on, right. look how look it looks yeah. up there. Well, we'll just have to look at it only through there. Yeah, don't look up right at it down here. <laughs> <laughs> I like doing this with uh, the crayons. I should have done that. The, mm -hmm. the friggin' water crayons. That's what I usually do it with is crayons or paint, but the crayons I think are they work good because you can smear them with your finger. He's too good. Too late now. He's, are you using the, uh, yeah. I think I should do more. Sometimes. Yeah. If you catch it real quick, get for it. It's the drying stage. You can get it to do it oh yeah this stuff stays wet really long so mm. guess i could have put more on each of these fingers huh <laughs> yeah. hey, what's what's life without having ink on you or paint on you somewhere I got circles. I can even go one step further. Okay. For the white. Oh, I'll put arms on it. Okay. Use your finger. Damn it. Yeah, I could do it as long as I just wipe it off before I do it. That's the problem. I wasn't wiping it off. I 
I said I just went to black off them. Uh -huh. one of my circles, my finger. Oh, that look cool. Like the black, yeah, you don't even need the white with the black. Jeez, because it kind of already has mm -hmm. that contrast. But with this, it was not dark enough, mm -hmm. I feel like. And it was not looking as bubbly. Hey Dawn. How are you, Miss Dawn? That up. I'm gonna pick the next card. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Oh, because Laura will start getting mad if I don't pick another card. <laughs> I'm giving her crap. Is she out in there? I don't she's think here. She she's has. working. No, she's working. Oh, <laughs> she's quiet when she works. You're going to do a streaming on, how come you're going to stream on Twitch and not YouTube? Mm -hmm. It's another streaming platform. It's mostly a lot of gamers over there. Um, it has more, there's, you know, there's some artists over there too, but and DIYers, but I think the mass majority of it is gamers and stuff. All right, next, use black. You can skip that because you did it already, unless you want to ink your edges or use paint on your edges mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Good. Use black. Mm 
Anyway, no, no. Oh, crap. Smooth move, X Lax. Turn all over everything. I always, I always give your stuff a bath, either in paint or at water. Mm. Now, but they can use a bath. You still wouldn't have too much stuff. Black. I might use this. This one is just black. Black dots. Little black dots. Little black dotty dots. Um, black paint. That would be it. Hmm. You don't know how to on YouTube? Um, do you have a, what do you use? Are you using your phone or you, do you have a webcam, Rinka? Yes, Janie? Yellow, Stacy. What? Huh? I sent you four. Oh, cool. Thanks, Jamie. What? What? Oh, nice. Thank you, Jamie. Somebody said something about yellow. What? What about yellow? Yeah, just stuff. a tiny bit on there looks good. Maybe I'll stop even though I did it here, but I can. I'll just it off right here a little bit. That's the best blender brush you own is your finger. True. Scary. Scary, scary. There's a restaurant in um, Savannah and it's called uh, Carrie Hilliards. Why? I don't know. But I always, <laughs> it, it, when I first saw it, I thought it said Harry Scary. Harry Carrie. Harry Carrie. And I kept thinking, why did they name a restaurant in this town Harry Carey? So Chicago. So now I call it Harry Carey. <laughs> Harry Canary. Spotted. Oh, I was gonna say something else. Never mind. Hey, it looks like a leopard. <gasps> yeah. Or what? Whatever spotted. The orange and the cat. <laughs> Dalmatian. I can get you another know, orange. Sunburn. My brother-in-law had a Dalmatian. That dog used to bark. My brother-in-law had a Dalmatian too. Isn't that weird? Oh, I thought it was a dopey, stupid dog that didn't I didn't tell his him. ass from his elbow. I called him the damn dog all the time. He was sweet, but he was stupid. And this one was dumb, too. Her name was Penny. <laughs> Duh. This one was Bogey. I hated that dog. I love Bogey. He was sweet. He was stupid. He, he would sit on you. <laughs> he'd sit on the couch, and he'd come up, and then he'd sit his butt on your lap and just sit there. Yep. This dog would stand at the back door of their house and bark, which is next door to ours, and bark. And it would never shut up. Of course, we lived in the country and I could open up the front door and scream, Damn dog! You're cold, Dawn? We were cold. It's cold here the past couple of days. Let's just say it's colder here than it is at my house. 
Because mm -hmm. when my husband took me to the airport, it looks like planets. Kathy said. <laughs> really? Yeah. Thank you. I'm trying to pull my lines up. Hi, Crafty Kitty. Oh, I see why you were saying yellow, because you were saying, like, yellow, like, hello. <laughs> I didn't realize that's what you were saying. And I didn't even realize it was you. I just I just caught that, and then it disappeared. I caught the yellow, and then I was like, what? What? I made coronavirus cells. Yeah, that's what Laura said. <laughs> These are my coronavirus cells. You want a beer? It's the COVID-19, not coronavirus. Well, my mother's going to be devastated now. Uh-huh. I don't even drink. I can't get it because I don't even drink beer. I don't either. I couldn't get Lyme's disease either because I don't eat Lyme. I do. I don't even screw. I had my flu virus, a uh, flu shot. But um, Dalmatians are hyper. <laughs> They're hyper and dopey. At least the ones yeah. I've been around. This one was. It's good. It's good. Now I use black twice. Twice. All the coronaviruses have this sh that have this shape. Well, all viruses have this shape. They're cell shaped, <laughs> sort of. Yeah, that's why I don't have a, heart, a, a, a Dalmatian. I have a Dachshund. He's hyper enough. Does anybody need me to wait until we pick the next card, or can I pick it? Protrudy, pokey things that come out of a cell. Oh, oh, oh. Little protrudy, pokey things? That's what it says. Yep. Make a mess. That's what my mom has been calling this virus. is Corona beer virus. <laughs> I mean, well, okay. That's fine. She don't drink it. Corona beer? She don't, she don't, drink, she don't like that beer. She likes, I have to think about it for a minute. <laughs> it's come from Pennsylvania. Starts with an L. An L? They oh. just started selling it in the South. Mm. Uh, I don't either. <gasps> I don't know what it is, I forget. Liquor? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she'll drink that too, but no, it's beer. All right. Use household stamps. Use them and abuse them. Oh, I know nothing. I mean, especially if it's covered in chocolate. Come out of Belgium. Cannot be bad. No. Helps me. Use household stamps. Oh, you know what I have to get real quick? I have to get wet. Mm -hmm. hmm. Here. What are we doing? Oh, 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 oh thank you. I get refer ro 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 shade. I love these. I got some of these for Christmas present. They were from a Christmas present last year. <laughs> Where? in the plastic all that time. Chocolate. Yeah, they're fun. I like chocolate. They're bad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? What are we doing? Oh. Going to the next one? stamps. Oh. Oh, Tori. Stella. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks, look, it looks like my coronavirus oh, no. circles. <laughs> That's a Ferrero Rocher virus. <laughs> yes, it is. Now 
not lying in something hmm? not like long mire no that ain't it can you get me the bubble wrap out of the third or fourth doohickey or bubble wrap okay i always use bubble wrap i don't think there's been a mixed media mashup where i have not used bubble wrap in some way Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of what color shall I wrap the bubbles with? Mm -hmm. I need stars. Stars? It's a galaxy. Well, you can flick stars on it later when it's mm -hmm. done. Because I don't think I have stars in there. Mm -hmm. This will work. Hmm? I said this one will work. Well, I want to do that one too. Um, I don't know what color to put on I'm going to do light blue. Come on, I'm not yet. No, no, not like that one. No. I'm thinking. I'm thinking of it, and I'm trying to think of it. It's the oldest beer that was brewed in Pennsylvania. Can anybody tell me? A lager? No, it's a regular beer. It ain't a lager. Lancaster? Nope, that ain't it. Lollygaggle? No. Loop de loo? <laughs> Her. Lemongrass? Who lives in the Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania? Michelle does. I don't think she's here. Mm. Just started selling it in Mississippi and Louisiana the last couple of years. Yingling? Yingling. It doesn't start with an L. Well, it sounded to me That's a in, lie. My, in my brain, it sounds like a nail. <laughs> yingling, yingling, Ling. yingling, yep. lingle, 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 dingle. I saw the ling part. That's the part that you were probably thinking of. My oldest son likes it too. Excuse me. Again, before? Nope. On this after this one, finito. Oh, I have one more. I can't. That'd be I can't just quit. Look, five. No, not. Oh, I thought you meant like prompt wise. Oh, I might as well use a similar paint since. Well, actually. Not the. What color did you just use? Oh, okay, that, that one. Right there. Yeah, I don't want to use that. I want to use. No, I want to use. Probably. I know. I know. If I can get to the damn thing, I buried underneath my crap over here. What is going on with my life? Yingling. You googled it. That's right, Laura. That's it. She drinks Yingling Light. Yingling. Yingling. Yingling light. Yingling. I forgot about metallic paints. I didn't even use any. How oh, dare I? Because it didn't come up. It sounds mm. oriental. No, usually I at least throw some. It does out. sound oriental. Yingling. I don't know. I don't drink beer, so I can't tell you what it tastes like except for maybe horse pee. Horse pee? Mm -hmm. I like horse pee. Well, it's what it smells like to me. You smell horse pee? <laughs> yep. Sister had horses. Mmm, horse pee. Nasty. Nasty. Didn't mark. Look how we market that beer. <laughs> I just never drank beer. I didn't either. I always hated it. It's gross. And the few times that I was really drunk and I'd be like, ah, have a beer, you know, I would get sick. Those, yes. those are the only times 
And that's because, you know, you're not supposed to drink beer after you've had liquor. I just drink vodka. Well, not by itself. Why let's make a mess. It's supposed to be mess. though that if you know, as long as you liquor before beer, all in the clear, and then you know, beer before liquor had never been sicker. I forget which way it goes, but I don't know. if I drank beer at all, as long if I drank it in the very beginning and had like one, you know, I can do that, but I wouldn't do that. Ooh. Uh, now she brings out this. I didn't bring it out. You could have thought of it in metallic colors anytime you wanted. You're the one making me get the damn paint. It's whatever, she said. It's my fault. It's not my fault. Stop blaming me, Barbara. Right. Would your finger be considered a household stamp? Sure, if it's in the house and it's old. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I always make myself laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well. I'm a, I'm a cheap date. What can I say? Well, somebody needs to laugh. <sighs> somebody needs hey, to laugh. Hey, while ago, I... Willow was laughing or smiling at me. <laughs> Willow was laughing at her. <laughs> when I came through with the glasses, her, she was showing me both sets of teeth. Oh, was she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> she does that when you come in, like, come out there after being in here a little while. She'll do that for some reason. Like, she gets, like, <laughs> so excited that that's when she'll show you her teeth. She's going to show you her teeth when she, when I take her with me. Yeah. <laughs> Tigger's gonna show you his when he, yeah. when I take her with yeah, me. Yeah, he's gonna be Thanks. like, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Aunt Barbara, getting rid of her. And Winnie's gonna be like, what's going on? Where's my sissy? Because Winnie can't, can't like, function. Actually, it's more <laughs> Willow can't function without Winnie. And because if I bring Winnie in here and sit in here, she's fine. But if I bring Willow in here, Winnie has a fit, and Willow has a fit at the door. Like, they can't be apart. I hear you. They can be in here by themselves, but the, I guess more jealousy, really, is probably what mm -hmm. it is. They're jealous that the other one gets to be in here, because I can't bring them both in here, because then it's, it's because I don't let them on the carpet. Hi, T. How are you? Hi, T. Hi, T. Actually, give me this. There's a book left on there. She's got some crap on there. It looks pretty cool now. This is the one I made with cardboard. I can tell that. It's pretty cool though. You can watch the class, you know, you have the links to it. I know. I've been kind of sickly. Sickly? Yeah, you know. You're sickly all right. Yeah, see, the more I stay sick, the less housework I have to do. <laughs> That's how I think I'm about it. Try that one. Hey, wait a minute. I don't have anybody to do it. <laughs> Send me somebody. Hmm? What's that? Nothing. I'm just oh, really stretching. All right. Well. Is that all the household stamps I'm using? Is this one been cleaned? That been cleaned. Yeah, it's clean. Okay. It's just that it's on its last legs. Once it gets to that point, usually I'll take paint and I'll let it dry on it and then I'll use it in mixed media and glue it down to something. Oh, that's a cool idea. It works really well. It looks cool too. All right. <laughs> Make your turtle. Come on. I got it in Florida. Um, they got tired of his head being bobbly, so they glued it. No, it wasn't ever bobbly. Just <laughs> get <laughs> That's how they make them there, and they, they sell them for like 
They sell that on top of like a little baggie with shells for like a dollar fifty. Yeah. And it goes to like some sort of charity usually. Cool. And they have them like all over the place, like in Florida by the beaches and stuff. Like that one was in St. Augustine. Maybe a little turtle or what was the other one? A bunny maybe? I don't know. Maybe a turtle. A turtle or something else. I don't remember. They had other things or something. Um, let's see. Do I want to use any other household stumps? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. What? No, not that. That works really good, by the way. I cut that out with die cut that. No. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm good. You're good. I'm good. All right. Let's pick number ten. Nope. One card. Use pink. <laughs> I may be skipping this. Actually, you know what? I don't mind putting some little pink dots in there. Little, little, little pink dots. I think would be cute. I really mind. What? I said I really mind. Well, you don't have to. I'm not going. Well. Hmm. Light pink could be bad. That's what I mean. You can do that as your stars. You can. That's what I was that getting ready to say. Yeah. I think this is good on top of my head. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll do our, our optionals. Yeah, I might flick some paint on pink on here actually. I, if it were for me, yeah, yeah, but I would flick that dark blue on here if it was me. What? It's on mine? Yeah, like. Oh. Because it would be seen. Put any lighter color on there, it's gonna be harder to see. Not if I do it a darker pink. All right, give me some pink metallic from over there if you have you want it. Metallic pink? You want a metallic light pink? Yes, please. Mix it up in your solution. What solution? To splatter it. Oh, no, because I'm just going to go like this. Oh. I thought you were going to splatter. No. What was I doing? Getting pink, oh, I think. Falling down again. What do you mean? Stop with a lot of bubbles. Coming off of them. Goodness gracious, I just vacuumed in here. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Let's do... Actually, let me see something real quick. Let's do a no, no, sassy. I'm I'm leaving Sunday early. Which pink? I would use that one. That one's like an orangey, corally pink. I'd mix them Melon. together. Mix just a well, little bit of maybe one. Maybe I'll try a little bit of each and see which one I like better. Hey, yeah. That will work. Then I'm going. But that is the week. Yeah, I guess it is the week. Duh. What? She said if I was, was I going to be here all week. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've been here since what, Saturday? Monday? My, oh, yeah, Monday. <laughs> I got here Monday, and then I, my plane leaves Saturday morning. Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Jeez, but I don't even know my own itinerary. I don't know. You never sent me an email. Well, I'll send it to you tomorrow. How's that? Well, that's all right, because you're here now, so all I have to know is your flight information. I do What's know fun? my out time, 8.30. My thing is missing. My, my, my favorite paint brush that I use. There it is. It was hiding. It was just hiding. False alarm, everybody. Calm down. What's destroying Tennessee? Huh? 
I know it's not me. Oh, crap. What, what is My it? water bottle's gone. There's been a few already. What's been a few already? Alright, you guys gotta fill us in. Or at least me, because I wanna make sure I get home. Oh, I don't think you do. Me. It's, it's Teresa, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Context. Who is it? <laughs> <My first? laughs> it's Teresa. She has been there. Oh, a few already. Yeah, I've been there a few. Teresa, she's likely pulling the leg. She's pulling it. My leg's not long enough to be pulled. You know, my mother's four foot nine, right? Yeah. And her oh, legs, like my legs are just about as long as her, uh, short as hers. Pulled. Oh, really? Isn't that pitiful? <laughs> I like this. This coral color kind of goes with the orange really well. Kind of it too. Well, you told me to use the other one. Oh, yeah. My, in my mind's eye, I saw. In your mind's eye, well, I don't have that. I don't have a mind's eye. I'm blind. I have a blind eye. I turn a blind eye. Well, I do. Just close my eyes and everything's dark. Well, that makes your gut feeling, you know. Hey, uh -huh. I'll make something. <laughs> Lack of imagination. I don't think That's you're. That's not true, though. I don't. It doesn't mean we don't have imagination. It just means that we have it in a different way than somebody else would. That's yes, all it means. It is the truth. Because I definitely have an imagination. It's just not. I don't have the pictures in my head when I close my eyes to go with it. It's still. It's a little different. I see oh, it differently. I, I see it with my eyes open. Like in other words, I can. Like I can, I can get a grip of what I want to do without having to physically see anything when my eyes are shut. Well, I mean, most of it was right there for you to see in the first place. What the hell are you talking about? Well, yeah. Well, what the hell are you talking about? Come out your mind's eye when you close your eyes. That's your mind's eye. What we were talking about, remember, where you yeah. can't see? Like I, I, I can see when I'm looking at things. I can get an idea of what I want to do without visualizing it in my head. Well, that's what I was talking about, oh, because oh. half of your visualization is sitting right here. No, kid. Yeah, it is. So, that is very true. it gives it, it makes it easier to see. It. That is true. Very true. It does. But even if I don't have this, like if I'm going to start something, I still have like ideas that come to me. They just don't oh, yeah. come to me in pictures. Oh, they no. come to me as like, oh, just a thought, like just a thought. Not a voice in my head, not a picture in my head, just a boink. Oh, I should do that, you know, without even anything. When I had my store, I had to keep oh, a notepad next to my bed. Excuse me. Get a breath. I would leave a notepad next to the side of the bed. And then I would wake up in the middle of the night and have to write something down because I'd be dreaming it, you know. What are you talking about? Me. And still like each other. What does that mean? Everybody that ever comes here, I always, we always like each other. I've never had anybody <clears throat> not like me. <clears throat> just because you, just because everybody on like the YouTube told, world doesn't hate. <laughs> like we told my husband, she's my girlfriend my, now. <laughs> I lost my thing. <laughs> I'm not holding your hand, no. <laughs> That's what you said. I What'd you lose? My brush. The one that I was splattering. I with. didn't take it, I promise you. Oh, there it is. I put it on the other side of the thing of a jiggity. Thanks for the compliment, my friend. I guess it's tea. a compliment. I've had lots of friendships for years and years and years. Every one of my friendships lasts forever. I never had any friends. Yes, you did. <laughs> Not me. I just always kept everybody. I always had a lot of friends. I um, and like... I would have, I would have, um, but I would only have like a select of them would be like my best, you know, friends I would mm -hmm. really confide in or whatever. Right. It's only most recently since all the illnesses and everything that I had that I didn't have really a lot of people that were physically in my life anymore. I just didn't trust anybody. 
I didn't either, but I, I had people that I did trust. I just was, I was very careful who I trust. I still am. I'm very, very careful who I trust. You have to be though. You really do because otherwise you get, you know, you have to be. Otherwise, you know, you, you end up getting the wrong people in your life. You just have to have your eyes open all the time and know what you're dealing with and don't just trust everybody blindly that says hey I'm you know I do this I'm mad I'm that and then come to find out a year later and you've sunk uh you know lots of friendship and time, time and, and, and whatever and whatever and what you know then you figure it out the hard way that girl was using me the whole darn time who whoever oh Actually, I thought, yeah, you, were, I thought you were going, I thought you were like talking about somebody and I missed it. No, I don't have anybody. My uh, husband is my best friend. Is that pitiful? No, it's not pitiful. Nah, actually, I think it's my mom. Oh, my chop liver? No, you're my second friend, best friend. I'm um, your second friend? <laughs> yeah, you're my second friend. Ah. My After seeing my mother Dummels die on that cruise ship. She better be my best friend. Well, your mother's your mother. She can't be your best friend. Why not? She's, she's almost mother. old enough to be my sister. She's always going to be number one. So. She's almost always. old enough to be my sister. Old enough or young enough? Young enough. Would you what like the hell is that? That's so All those maple, maple candies. candies. Yeah, they're good. Already ate her old bag. I like that. I can't cool. I can't really not see. Oh, boy. Well, is this how you normally see it? No, because I have I forgot to put the thing. That's okay. I do it usually. Is after. it a touch screen? No, this is just a TV. Mm. There, I'm sorry. Yeah, the screen, I had the screen popped up in yeah, front of it. You see my scribble, my. Oh, that looks mm. pretty. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty. Are you gonna keep it like that or cut it up? I'm cutting it up. I cut all mine up. Yeah, did you? Hi, Laura. I see you. You're going to escape this place, Janie? <laughs> are we Are we scaring you? What place is that? Oh, she's going to escape California. But she's coming here. Oh, cool. You coming to Tennessee? Gotcha. Sometime, she said. Did I get that right, Janie? All right, Thank let's you. do our optional. Thank you, Janie. I never do uh, uh, optionals. I just want to get up and leave my room. <laughs> yeah, just a bad, bad girl. And that's why mine add dots. I just added my dots, but. These are optional, obviously you do not have to do them, but if you feel like there's one that strikes your fancy, I'm then sorry. do it to it. Arizona, California, from this Splatter. side of, <laughs> from this side of the country to that side of the country, it doesn't matter what if she's out that way. Texture paste. I'm sure you're not as vain as the ones in California. Oh, Jamie. Oh, you know how some of them in California can be. Well, Jamie's in Arizona. I know. Oh. That's what they said. Oh, she lives in Arizona because oh, I said oh, California. Oh, gotcha. Mm. I mess up my everything. I splattered on everything. Jenny, are you near uh, the Tucson area? Did you get to go, if you did, or did you get to go to the bead thing? Expo? Expo. We have that here every year. I never go. Go no, like bead this expo? One. No, not like this one. This is the whole city. I mean, the Tucson Jim and ba Bead Show. Oh. Oh, my gosh. We have the bead galactic bead expo here in nashville tell her how big it is jamie she's two hours away from it 
It's huge. Because see that one you're talking about's come to New Orleans before, and I've gone to it, and it's yeah. big, big, cool. I mean, they sell every kind of gemstone, crystal, everything, yeah. rock, mineral. There's a lady at the flea market who has an entire booth mm -hmm. set up with all these wooden bins that are like on legs, like, mm -hmm. and they're all filled with all different like different gemstone type things. Wow. And uh, if, I hope she's still there because I haven't been there in a long time. So I'm hoping she's still there because she was one of my favorites to go to. I'd get all kinds of like. You know how to get this off? What is it? Pink? Paint yeah. and crap? It's called. Wash your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I have your thing in there. You looked at me like. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> do you do realize I have my soap in there with the scrubby? That thing works good. Yes, it does. I love that. I was going to ask you where the hell you got that I'll from. I'll get you another one soon. <gasps> to you, I man. love that thing. It, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, usually I sit here and do this, so a lot of times I don't need to use yeah, but, it. But on the days where I'm really, really, like, cruddy, I'll get it out. And now from under your fingernails yeah. and everything. Yeah, but usually what? I'll sit here and do this for a while and just kind of wipe the majority of it off. But on the days where I'm, like, really nasty, that thing comes in handy. Oh my goodness gracious, it's it's just unreal, but washing your hair and getting it in hot. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know, because whenever my hands are inky and I take a shower, I come out and I'm like, oh, all the ink is gone. Where'd it go? In my, my hair. Matthew, my son, was painting his new house. I said, well, Matthew, did you go to work with paint all over you? He said, no, ma'am, I do know somebody that taught me how to get paint off their hands. I said, who was that? He said, you. You took a shower. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, my mouse has paint all over it. It's light color switchers. Oh no, this is from a long time ago. My this computer has, has it all over its screen. And the I know. Well, it's got the here's a few spots, and I've been trying not to push on the screen too much because it's not good for it. But I got a couple of spots on here. I don't care. I don't really because either. I don't think my computer's going to last very much that's longer. That's not a computer anyway. It's a TV. Mm -hmm. and that's my 42-inch TV that used to be in my living room. And then I ended up getting that one. That doctor, that neurologist kept telling me, I need to go to Cal uh, Arizona. I need to go out west. I said, kept telling him, how is going to out west supposed to help my spine? It'll help your arthritis if you're in a drier climate like uh, I like Arizona. Yeah, my friend moved out there who had, he had severe, severe rheumatoid arthritis. And uh, he was born with it. And he had his whole life, he died uh, years, was that about eight, ten years ago? But anyway, he moved out to California, uh, Arizona. And he said that it made it a, such a world of difference on his arthritis. And he should have done that years and years ago. Um, but the only problem with me is I can't live in, I'd rather have the arthritis and the freaking heat. <laughs> that I oh, can't do. Mine is the snakes and the turtles. Yeah. The, the scorpions. scorpions. Yeah. Um, yeah, but they're not that big of a issue. Yeah, it can't be any worse than the snakes and the spiders. Either. No, exactly. I'm at my house. I heard there that. Are more, there are the, more species of snakes in Tennessee and stuff than yeah. there is in Arizona. Listen, I was sitting in my dining room. Arizona's are just a little bit more dangerous if you run across one. With their... <laughs> Rattlesnakes? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. But anyway, I was sitting in my in my living room waiting on the furniture to be delivered. And this was a couple of days before that. I'm sitting at that at, at, in a lawn chair. I'm just watching the TV because we had brought a TV with us. And I heard something, but I saw something move out of the corner of my eye at the same time I heard something. And it... I'm not kidding you, was as big around as this. A spider <laughs> ran across my oh, patio. Yeah. I I told Mark mm. when he got home, I said, you got to kill it or we're moving. Yeah. Because I'm not staying anywhere. A wolf spider. No, it no, huge. what? And they called it a uh, forest or uh, uh, something else. They called it something else, some kind of wood. Yeah, there's um, several names for it. It might have been a wolf spider, but they, they call them several things. And he said to his, this were good. It got as big as a plate. I was Who's like, that? where is this at? In Savannah. Oh. So I told Mark that night we were moving. Because the big, we have, we had big spiders, you know, we have the wolf spiders here and they're 
like that. And when I first Holy moved crap. here, when I first mm -hmm. moved here and the first house that we lived in was Spider City. And I, we got the house, uh, we were renting it. We got the house, we, we, you know, we're down here to look for a house. And then Chris had to go up to New Jersey and drive the truck down with all our crap in it. So he had to leave and I was in the house all empty all by myself. Yeah. And with just an air mattress and yep. the dining room, I was trying to like sweep and clean and get the house ready. And one day I'm in the kitchen making something or doing something. And I see something out of the corner of my eye and I thought it was a mouse. And because it was big and mm -hmm. I stopped and the dining room was dark and I look over and I'm like, what is that? And it like got up on it. Oh, I know. And I was looking at it and I'm going, what is that? And I, I flicked the light on and I was like, oh my God, I want to go home. I, I immediately was like, I don't want to be here. I had to take a dustpan because I was so afraid of it getting away. And then I'm laying you on an air mattress on the floor. You got that close to yeah, it. Yeah, I had to. So all I had was a dustpan and a broom. So I, I got the dustpan, and I, when I room. smacked it with the dustpan, it literally splattered and crunched. It was I know. disgusting. It, oh. But that's, I hit, I beat the crap out of the one that was on the patio. I had to throw with a bunch of paper, paper towels or, over top of it, because I, I couldn't look at it dead, and I, I just left it there. I left mine there, too, and that sucker took mm -hmm. two weeks to wash away from, away from the house. I said, Mark, I killed it. You should remove it. <laughs> he was, I'm not touching it. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. So the man next door told us, "Oh, that was a baby. You know, they really can get to the size I think he of was a pulling plate. your leg." I was like, "There's no, there's no spiders that get that big in the United States. You're t th th those are the spiders in like Iraq. They don't get that big. They you, get big. They get the size of your fist, but that's about them." Then about we saw it. the snake in the backyard, and they kept squirting it with the water hose, like <laughs> that was going to do anything to the, the snake. Snake's probably like, "Oh, I like that." <laughs> really. <laughs> I mean, seriously, all you're doing is making him bigger. Snakes don't bother me. I have no problem with snakes. Spiders bother me. I don't. No, snakes I have don't bother with me at snakes. all. I have a problem with snakes. I have I have a problem with anything that's sneaky. I don't like bugs. I can deal with anything else. Is, I don't like bugs. One time I went to Arizona. In fact, it was Phoenix. I went there for a painting seminar, and my room was like on the 50th floor or whatever. It was way up there, and. I told the guy at the counter, I said, the first scorpion I see, I'm checking out. He said, ma'am, they don't get on the elevator and ride up to the 50th floor or whatever floor it was I was on. And I was like, don't make fun of me. I'm serious. <laughs> Have you seen cave crickets yet? No, what in the heck is a cave cricket? I mean, I've been in the South almost all my life, Let's and see. there's so much I have not seen. I don't understand. This This is the bug that freaks me out because I don't understand it. A cave cricket. What is that? What? It's a cross between a cricket and a spider. And it oh. looks like an alien bug. And I don't like it. And they freak me out because they're ginormous. Oh, yeah. I've seen those. They're, look, they look like a friggin' spider. That's what they look like. And they're big. Oh, they're crickets. Yes. I, they're called cave crickets because oh. they, they hide in dark places. And they're creepy. And the first time I ever came across them was I was cleaning somebody's we house. We step they, on them. They were under the stairs all hopping when I was went to sweep under there. And I got the hell out of there because they were crawling like a spider and hopping like a cricket. And I was so confused. And they just freaked me they, out. They like bugs. I don't like them no They're nasty and luckily we don't have them at my house but They're you bugs. know i thought that was a, i mean it looks like a spider this is i mean that looks like a spider but it's a cricket yeah it's a very bizarre looking nasty and they're big they're not that little they're like the size of your hand almost oh they're big I don't like, like I mean, their body isn't the size of your hand but their body's like that and then like <laughs> uh, no I don't like no. bugs. <laughs> mm -hmm. I bet they like they... dark places, so you'll be unexpectedly grabbing something in the garage, like a box. You lift it up, and they're boing, and you're like, no, because <laughs> it doesn't well, look like a cricket. 
um, that's why yeah, I always, it is. They're that, crunchy. Ugh. That's why I always make Mark uh, 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 go in the boxes and look at them. Mm -hmm. I do too. I used to make Chris do it. I wouldn't because do it. I wouldn't do you it. never know. I would say, I'm not, I would make him, I'd go down there with him and I'd stand there and I'd say, you have to go through the box because I can't. Yeah, because them brown recluse can go oh, jumping yeah. out and of there. Oh yeah, and we have them in our mm -hmm. basement. We've, we've found them on the sticky strips down there, but that's just normal for here. But, never up here. We never find them upstairs. I very, I've, I think in the whole time I've lived here, ten, over 10 years, 12 years, 15 years, whatever, uh, 2005 so we moved into this house in 2005 so in t since 2005 i might have seen in the upstairs of this house four spiders well we have our yard in the basement or in the garage house. not the basement as much but the garage i've seen spiders but not not a tremendous amount but right now i think there's more down there because i haven't been down there uh, let me tell you now i used to spray down there pretty religiously we really? have our grass retreated uh, the yard, and I told the man when he came out there. Yes, it does look like the aliens. That's what I was calling them, Laura. I was calling them alien crickets because I didn't know what to call them until somebody said they were cave crickets. I'm like, no, those are alien. Oh, I wonder if my what, dad will really? use them for fishing. <laughs> what did you just say you were saying? I, I like, said, no, <laughs> we get our yard treated and the, we got these little bitty plugs. Yeah. Well, they're not little plugs. They're big plugs on the sides of the house. What are they for? They pump the poison through the walls. Ew. So it kills all the bugs Great. in the walls. And I'm thinking, well, I haven't seen the spider. I don't want to think about that there's bugs in the walls. Well, I'd rather them be in the walls than in the room. No, I don't want them anywhere. I don't want to think about them in the walls. I don't want to think about them anywhere. <laughs> I don't like them. Hmm. Nasty. Mm-hmm. Spider crickets. Yeah, that's what they look like. That's what I was calling them. Either I was calling them alien crickets or spider crickets until somebody told me what they were. Because I was, like, explaining it on the phone that night to my friend. I'm like, I don't know what this is. And, and I, like, because I came across them while cleaning. And I went home and I called my friend who lives in Tennessee and, uh, you know, like, grew up here. And I'm like, what are these things? And I was trying to explain it to her. And at first she didn't understand what I meant. And then she goes, oh, she goes, Cave Cricket. And she sent me the website that had, like, a, a you know, like a right. website that had the bugs on it. And I was like, oh, my God. I'm like, that's it. That's crazy. I mean, forget it. And then there were these other things. I was at this other guy's house cleaning. And I know what everybody's going to say, but trust me, it is not anything I've ever seen before. And anybody I've ever asked doesn't know what I'm talking about. There were these bugs flying around. I couldn't even get out of the car because I was freaked out. They weren't wasps, but they kind of looked like a wasp, sort of, but they weren't wasps. They didn't look like they had any kind of stingers on them, but they were kind of just freaky looking. And my friend was like, oh, maybe it was a horsefly. I know what a horsefly looks like. They were not horseflies. They were some bizarre looking crossbreed fly that looked like a half wasp, half fly. And it was just bizarre. And they were all black. Wasn't a horsefly? What did I just say? I don't know. I wasn't at She wasn't listening to me. I said, no, it wasn't a horsefly. I oh, know what okay. horseflies look like. No way. It was like a cross between. And it had longer wings than a ho like a fly. But... It wasn't a typical wasp. Now, I know the black wasps. We have them here. We have the all red ones, the all black ones, and all that. But black I've... Ones are dirt daubers. Yeah, the dirt daubers. Yeah, we have those here. Um, but, you know, I've never seen this. And even the guy that owns the house said, because I said to him, what the hell is outside of your house? It would land, like, I would have to sit in the car because I didn't know how I was going to get out of the car, get my cleaning stuff, go in the house without this thing touching me because they yeah. were landing on my car, on my window. Mm -hmm. And I was, like, sitting there. And at one point, they were so bad. The one day I went, I said, I'm not going in. I said, I'm not getting out of the car. I don't know what these are. And I'm not, I don't know. I don't like bugs. Right. So he came home and he said he tried to spray around. And he's like, I've never seen these things. I don't know what they are either. And these were just freaky looking they were freaky looking. I tried looking them up online. I asked everybody I knew and nobody could give me an answer other than horsefly. And then when I said no, it definitely was not a horsefly because I know what a horsefly looks like. Have you ever like. seen the love bugs? Oh yeah, love bugs. Those are in Florida like crazy. They're yeah, disgusting. So. They take over and they're everywhere. I never knew they existed. They were not love bugs. Certainly not. No, well, these were been. definitely like in the wasp fly. Love bugs. They, were, they looked like they were a dangerous something or other like the just the way they looked but i don't know i don't i don't, really don't know i never found and i looked up at, like i spent hours online trying to figure oh, out what this you bug have was. the love bugs too Janie. they stick together oh do yes. you 
Yeah, Florida has them really bad in some spots to the point where you can't even walk down the street because they're this yeah. thick. Yeah. They're um, coated this thick the on coast, the sidewalks and shit. Across the Look. Gulf of Mexico, it's yeah, like yeah. that. My niece you could would tell. get so annoyed because they'd be all over her car. She, she'd be like, these damn things are all over my car. And I call them those little perverted uh, bugs. No, they're not black hornets because I know what they are too. Nope. They don't look like they would be any kind. They don't look like they have a stinger on them, but they look nasty. And they don't have the same body as a hornet. They have more of a body of a fly, but like the wings of a friggin' wasp. It's I think very I know weird. what you're talking about, but I don't know how to explain what I'm thinking. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, unless somebody shows it's me like a picture. Their body might be this long, this skinny. No, it's not. It's, they're, they're more like a fly looking. They're, they're, they're kind nasty. of fly care. looking. But... That's and they you... land like a fly. You know what I mean? Like flies. Mm-hmm. And they kind of fly around kind of dippy. They're not They're not very good aimer, aimers like a fly would be. <laughs> a fly knows where he's landing. Whereas these are more like, kind of like, you know, cicadas. They just kind of fly around like idiot, idiots. They don't know where they're landing. This is how these were kind of acting, sort of. Not as yeah. bad as cicadas. They I were flying around them. like... Yeah, they were kind of, not necessarily drunk, but, well, I mean, m- much better than cicadas, but definitely not as precise as a fly, but they were landing on the windows and stuff. Huh? <laughs> you don't post your stuff to the group? Is that what you're laughing are, at? Are you telling us to shut up talking and get on to working? No, we're done. She says, do we not post it anymore? No, you can if you want to. I would like to see everybody's, but we're not, I don't go through them anymore. And I don't do, I'm not, right now I'm not doing giveaways on them until I get caught up on my giveaways. Good morning, Marion. Hi, Marion. Marion's off to work. (laughs) Yeah. Yes, Sparky, we're done. That's not what you asked. You didn't say, are we done? You said, so we don't post our work to the group anymore? Oh, I thought she was trying to tell us when he shut up and do get on with the next one. Next one? What next one? I don't know. You gave three ones. I know that, but... Those are optional. They don't have to do them. I was just talking. Well, then everybody post your stuff so that Laura can see it, because she wants to see it. <laughs> okay, here's mine. <laughs> mm-hmm. Bravo. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Bellissimo. Looks like somebody's shoe print on the bottom. Looks like somebody what? Shoe print. Oh, oh. Like a flip flop. Yeah. That's like a blinker. That's what I think of when I see these. I oh, like where, where you're driving down the road and then you see the, yeah. the sign is going ding, ding, Oh, ding. that. But the back of people's cars, some of them have these kind of uh, blinkers. I've seen those. I have a couple times. Or like on my mirror, I have a blinker mm-hmm. with my, rear, my side mirror. Oh, Red. Bar bar A. <laughs> uh, uh, not red. Laura. According to my son, we're not redheaded. Your hair we're is, brown. your hair is, we're brown. It's, it's, it's more brown than red, but it's definitely got the red in it. It's definitely got the strawberry, but it's not like that bright strawberry. It's actually very pretty, but it's, it's not red, red. Like put your head under here so she could see. You see what I mean? Like it's, it's very brown, but it's definitely red. But it's more brown than red. It's getting it's a, some. It's not gray. even auburn. It's just like it's it's, it's like getting a, some gray. But it's like a dirty blonde strawberry, like a dirty strawberry blonde is what it is, kind of. Well, let's just say I got the temper of a redhead. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's not funny though. Yeah, it's got a tinge of red, definitely. I mean, you could definitely say, mm-hmm. yes, she's a redhead because of that. It depends but... on uh, this time of year. So does, mine... My, does mine look red at all? Yeah, right here. Yeah, because I have my hair in two clips to keep there. it out of my head. You hardly have any hair on your head. You got really thin hair. I know I do. Man, mine's like a cushion, but yours is... I have thin hair. You do I have thin hair. Long hair. Yeah. If I had long hair, it would be like a dang horse tail. Yeah. It's what it was before I had oh, my, my hair smell neck good. surgery. Yes. Mm, smell. I smell it. Mm. Before I had my neck surgery, I had long hair. Depends like on where I put my hand. What does that mean? Put your hand. Who's hand? Yeah, that's mine, Janie. You're straight and fine. Yours looks thicker than mine, though, Janie. Oh, my hair's Her not hair fine. Her hair definitely looks thicker than mine. My mother's is fine. My mine is, is really, fine. really fine and, like, wiry. Or not wiry. That's her uh, whole ponytail right there. No, that's the whole thing. 
dirty clothes. Yeah, this is my whole ponytail here. It's that, not. See how little that is? Yeah, it's little compared to most people because I don't have. I never had thick hair. Actually, I had thicker hair when I was younger, but ever since I had a lot You're of health sick, issues yeah. and whatever, it, it definitely thinned out a lot. It thinned out a lot more than this for a while, and then it kind of got its thickness, thickness back, a little bit of its thickness, not the whole thing. But it was never thick. I just had more hair, I should say. Mm -hmm. It was always this fine. I just had more of it. And neurologist told me never have long hair again. Like, my ponytail was definitely thicker than this, but when I was sick... My hair was coming out. I have pictures of it. Every day I'd get out of the shower and I literally would have a clump My to the point where Chris is like, I could tell your hair's thinning out. And then when it started to finally grow back in, mm -hmm. he was like, oh, I could see it's growing back in. So it's still at the stage where it's growing in. That's why it's still thin. And yeah. it is still growing in a little bit, but I don't think it's going to get too much thicker than what I'm it is now. I'm surprised it holds color. Mm -hmm. With all that medicine you had before. I mean, Oh yeah, it'll you know. always hold color. Medicine one, nothing to do with that. That doesn't change anything. It makes my mothers come out quicker. Perms, it's probably well. You know, that, that could be that could be it, perms. That could be affected by because that's basically what you're doing with a perm is your so the chemical composition of your hair if it's straight. What a perm does is basically breaks the the molecules of your hair. <laughs> And makes them, like, the chemical composition totally different. Yeah. And that's what it does. Whereas color doesn't do that. Uh, okay. Color is different. Color just deposits color. It's not actually doing anything to the chemical composition of the hair. Laura? Yeah. Janie went to school for cosmetology, too. My, uh, Laura, all my hair is on my head. I have no hair on my arms. Or yeah, nothing. she has no hair on her arms. Or, like, I could see a slight peach fuzz, but that's there, the thing. Look at mine, how thin it is. And she has less than me. And I used to have, when I was had Cushing syndrome, my hair was thick and last, dark on my arms. It was last disgusting. Last time I shaved my legs must have been about eight months to a year ago. I am not kidding. Yeah, you just have a light peach fuzz on you. I never had, yeah. had it bad on my legs either. Hmm. That's lucky. Yep, so my sister's sick. But I never had it on bad on my legs either. Like my legs were always very sparse, and you know, when I guess when I was a teenager, it was probably more. But now I barely, I barely have to shave my legs, but once a month. I'm pale and freckled too. I have freckles. Me too. In fact, my birthmark is almost as dark as my. Your freckles have freckles. That's what. Yes, that's it what does. I, so you say. My I, freckles I have freckles have on my lips and on my eyelids. I do too. Yeah. You can't see them that much until I go out in the sun, which I stay away from. I go out to the sun. I I would live at the beach. A a real beach. I'm a blonde gorilla. <laughs> See, my mother has, but my mother has dark hair, so she could see her her hair on her legs, and, and my sister, but not me. Hmm. My dad. One time, we were sitting there playing cards together, and he says, "Do you shave your arms?" Yeah. I said, "What?" He said, "Do you shave your arms?" I did for a long time until I said, it stopped growing. I said, "No." He said, "In between when I had cushions, I, I used to have to shave it off." If it would have removed some of the freckles, I would have shaved them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, Matthew is as redheaded as I am, and but he's got brown eyes. He does not have the first freckle. Hmm. Oh, really? No freckles. Hmm. Huh. I bet it did, Sharon. Now, Mark's, his, his, his thinned a little bit, but his chemo was just pills. He only took the pills. And, um, uh, his still thinned out a little bit, but for a man, it was just like a yeah. little bit in the back. Hmm. Did it grow back now? Yeah. Kind of. I don't know. It keeps it cut so darn short. Oh. But he never had to have any other kind of, yeah. you know chemotherapy or anything he was glad and his last scope and his last blood work said he doesn't have to have another scope with blood work for two more years he'll have to have blood work but not the scope yeah that's good i was we were 
We were holding our breath. Unfortunately, I have to have a colonoscopy every year, but I haven't had one in two years, and I should have had one because Crohn's disease comes with a high risk of colon cancer, yes. and I have not had it, and I've already had colon cancer, and I really need to get it. But my doctor's going to have a fit when I go down there in March over that. Because he told me last year when I went to him to get the damn colonoscopy done and sent him the results. And I never yeah. did it. Mark's doctor in New Orleans, the one that did the, the colon surgery, she wants to see him as well. She was concerned. I, I, I never expected a doctor to react like that. Yeah. And she was really good. Well, that's good. Thing. That's good, Sharon, that you, you go back in three years. Hmm. But see, his mama died of colon cancer, so... That's one, oh, wow. one reason they were kind of worried. But see, he he didn't go get his check till he was fifty two. And I when he woke up when he woke up from that colonoscopy and was coherent, I looked at him and I said, "I told you so." And he said, "You told me what that you had cancer? No, no that you should have went and got it done two years ago." And he said, "Why?" I said, "Cause you have cancer." And he goes, "This is some good shit. Whatever they gave me." I said, you have colon cancer. And then finally he woke up enough that he was able to absorb what I said. They knew without giving him a biopsy? Yeah. Hmm. It was that wow. large. So they tattooed it. Huh. Removed part of it. Luckily mine was small. Mm -hmm. It was his, what she said about golf ball, not golf ball, uh, softball size masses. Hmm. Huh. And I, oh, I thought, how could you not feel anything? Oh, yeah, how could you have gone to the bathroom and not? They just blocked it. Yeah. Huh. I mean, we've been married. And colon cancer is a very slow growing cancer. We've been married 33 years. Well, 32 years at the, that, that time. Why didn't he ever say anything to me? That he was having problems or something. Oh, that sucks, Esther. You had to have that much cut off. Well, hopefully it'll grow back quick. Yeah. Say so they wanted my... Uh, I, I cut my own off because my hair was probably as long as yours. And then it was thick. And I was going around with the pointing tails and I was laying flat on it. And it was hurting my head even worse to lay on it. And then this neurologist that I just seen a couple weeks ago told me, he said, don't ever let your hair grow long again because you don't need that weight on it. And then the migraines that I get, which I asked him, were they real migraines? And he said, yes. But he said, you probably can't stand to wear a hat either, can you? I'm not going to go through the pictures today just because I'm getting off here in a minute. So yeah. you guys can't, you can, all you have to do is go to the group and scroll down and you can see them all. Everybody already put them in? Cause I'm gonna be getting off because I have some things I have to get done. I gotta go hold down the cushion on the couch. <laughs> it's jumping. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta go out there and take care of Tigger and Winnie, cause you're gonna take those <laughs> home with you. Give me some peace and quiet. <laughs> and Willow, she's so sweet. Well, all right, you guys. I'm going to get off of here. Well, thanks for hanging out, and hopefully we'll be on tomorrow night. Yeah, I don't see why we wouldn't we be. We have a mashup so. tomorrow night? No. Mix, I always call Patreon. it. Patreon. Oh, yeah. Patreon live stream tomorrow night. Ooh. We ought to cut some and then show some. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You know, some and some. Good night, okay. Laura. We'll do that. All right. You guys have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see some of you guys tomorrow night. Bye. Poodle pack out. Pink poodle crabs, join the poodle pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink poodle crafts is the way. What a good boy.